Hey, welcome back to episode of Surround Podcast. I'm your host, Juan. As always, my co-host here with me. Hey, Trip. Hey, hey, buddy. What's up, dog? Oh, man, I'm so good. Yeah? I'm, so fe- I'm feeling great. I'm not mad at UPS at all for not delivering my promised Neverland to me the day that they said that they would. And instead, just putting a load on my door saying, like, hey, you have to have somebody sign for it, even though when I'm in the fucking office, that's where I work. Just bring that shit to me. Yeah, I'm not mad at all. Today, we're talking about Forest of Piano. Yeah. Sure are. It's a Netflix show that came out a few months ago, right? Yeah, I don't know. Like a year, two years, five years. It's been out forever, I'm pretty sure. It's probably like three or four months. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But we'll get more into that later. Um, I want to hear about you, man. How have you been? Because we all know I'm great. Yeah, I'm good. Um, it's been kind of chill since school, you know, has been out. Yeah, what's your life? What are you? You kind of just stay up late, sleep in late, you know, eat late, bathe late, Beyblade sleep. Beyblade. Um, no, man, it's just been super cool. Um, recently, uh, my dog graduated from puppy school. Oh, mm-hmm. she got a little diploma. I haven't graduated from puppy school yet. Yeah. So I, I gave, uh, still a little puppy. I gave my mom a little certificate has her name on it like puppy school. Uh-huh. And she put it on the fridge over, uh, this other like certificate I got for winning an award at school for like a game I worked on. And it's just cool. like, I was like, oh, cool. There's my worth. Yeah. Um, hey, man, you had your moment in the spotlight. Very true. It's done. Vela. I, I got to graduate. Now she graduated. Good for Vela her. Vela gets that graduation. What else is up? Um, Sierra went on her bachelorette party. She did. That doesn't sound like you have much to say. No, but she was gone uh, all weekend. So <laughs> I uh, I just kind of did a bunch of boy stuff. I did a bunch of day yeah, drinking. You were doing some boys. Boys doing boys. I did, played That's a bunch of melee. Yeah. Uh, I went paintballing. I got hit a few times in the hands. Yeah. Dude, I was, I was super stoked to hear you only yeah. got hit in the hands a whole bunch. Cause um, from what I remember, boy. from what I remember being hit in the hands hurt a lot, but then I remembered, oh, it's not the hands that hurt. It's the fingers that hurt. Cause like they're, it's all bone, you know? Yeah. Um, I got hit in one finger hit in the pinky. Uh, it was a match where it was like three on three or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was doing work trip. I got the first guy. I got the second guy. I was going to, I was like going for you the, gonna clear I was it. going for the hat trick dog. Yeah. You know, my boys were fucking, you know, raining down fire. I was like, I got the two guys. I was flanking the dude and then I turn and I'm shooting at him and he shoots like two or three and then like pop. And I look down and it's like literally on my pinky. I was like, I can't fucking believe this. I'm out. We won that round, but I was like, ah, oh, I was so close to getting that fucking triple kill. Oh, that could have been you. Could have been but... me. It's another boy, and that's fine. Other boys need their moments. Yeah, the worst part of, um, I guess, paint playing was there's like a lot of mosquitoes. So I got just covered yeah. in mosquito bites everywhere. Oh, dude, that sucks. So I've been itchy, little itchy boy for the last couple of days. Oh, man, I'll itch too with you. Yeah. I, I'm just going to itch this whole fucking episode with you. Please don't. Just because. It definitely makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> really? <laughs> it makes you feel uncomfortable makes when you I'm scratching itch, my yeah. face like this. Just. <laughs> Um, and then today, uh, I did pick up the pup cause she went to get her, uh, she got spayed today. Ooh, yeah. fun. I, I remember when I got spayed. Yeah. Yeah. Pup. Fresh out of puppy school. Never graduated, but as soon as I went out, I got spayed. Yeah. I can't be horning around. So she got spayed, uh, picked her up, took her home. She's got a big old, like, you know, bunch of stitches on her belly and yeah. she's just like, been there, man. Not having it. So I was like, Hey man, just chill. You can't do nothing for like 14 days or whatever they say. Yeah. I don't know if that's like give or take or whatever no nah, yeah you're supposed to stay like wrapped up yeah you're supposed to bundle them up 14 days but uh yeah so that's literally it's all i've been up to for this last week i've been just doing other You've been day drinking and playing melee and uh, care of the dog. shooting kids and uh so it's giving me like tasks to do for like the wedding good and i've accomplished most of them i think nice there's a few things i need to do here and there but name one uh what, what's one that i haven't done yet uh, i mean I'm doing it technically. I set an appointment to meet up with like uh, the the venue to finish paying off the okay. thing. That's later yeah, yeah, in the yeah. week. So nice, yeah, nice. But honestly, man, it's just it's been super chill. There's I love n- hearing it. You know, there's nothing, nothing to it. Life's just stay okay, I guess. Life's Gucci. Life's yeah. great. Life's I, grand. Life's. I was sitting. I was literally sitting home. And I was like, oh man, the wedding's coming up pretty soon. And then before I was like, oh, it's gonna be fun. And I go, oh, but you know what else is coming up pretty soon? Anime Expo. Listen, okay, so here's the fucking, here's the thing. Are you more excited for the Anime Expo than my wedding? Yes, absolutely. But here's the thing. <laughs> I've been thinking so much about Anime Expo lately. That you don't even want to go. And I, here's, the, <laughs> okay. I haven't paid shit for attention about what's going to be there, who's going to be there, what's going to be happening. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything in particular that I want to do there. 
but I'm just getting so excited. I'm like, oh, it's so soon, and we're going to be there, and it's going to be great, and then, there's going to be so much to do. And this time, it's going to be different than last time, because it's always fucking different. Mm-hmm. We'll be like a little bit more educated on where to go, and how to get this, and how to get that, and we're just going to be, we're just going to be there. We're going to be there. That's all I keep thinking. Like, no actual thought. It's just like, man, and then it's, yeah, we're re- oh, the lines are going to be, dude, there are going to be people around. Oh, should I cosplay? <laughs> like, everything's going on in my head and i don't finish any of it because i'm so excited i think the biggest thing i always take from going to anime expo is though he's thinking all right i'm going to anime expo there's so much to do and, yeah. then, I, and then i go i'm gonna watch i'm gonna do all of it and then i think i'm gonna go you're on day there's two. so much to do and i'm gonna get around to like a third of it because there's yeah. like so much to do and it's like you get so tired and yeah. there's so much and the next work. day you're like holy shit it's nine oh my god we're already late, late yeah uh, we already missed two panels fuck and you're just like laying in bed and you're like my feet hurt <laughs> i want a mommy but mommy where are you but i can't and then i have to be the surrogate mom the whole time because my feet hurt and then they go okay we'll go back to sleep for 20 more minutes like okay but my feet hurt and then, and then it's where are we going to lunch when are we getting lunch and you go we just woke up like i know i don't want lunch <laughs> but am i gonna get a hot dog hot dog hot dog what am i gonna do today <laughs> and then you wait for the fucking shuttle and it takes 20 minutes longer than it should have to get there and next time you're like i'm taking a fucking I'm just uber. Gonna uber this fucking shuttle not even worth it just get there faster you just get uber. so mad and you're like why the fuck are there no ubers i'm taking a lift and then you <laughs> always and you always get that one uber driver that has no fucking clue where he's going it's always his first day and he just goes yeah, is it cool if I drop you off here? He's like, yeah, five blocks yeah, away from where fine, I need to be. Man. Get the fuck out of here, Uber. And then they're like six lanes over on the other side of the street, and they're like, come here. And, and they like, go, what? How? No, you come here, dog. You're the one in the fucking metal vehicle. Pick me up. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, oh, I love it. People don't know. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog is uh, there's little hot dog vendors outside of the fucking anime. So that for yeah. sure have no permits. And oh my God, are there fucking. It's like oh, fucking. It's so good. It's just like grease bombs in mm-hmm. a bun. They're like four or five bucks. Baby, throw some onions on there and Jalapenos, some like grilled fajita type things. Fucking you wrap that shit in bacon. bacon. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's a real colon cleanser is what it is. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I think was it usually the first time with the anime expo we went and like we all got one. It was like me and Leandra. Mm-hmm. And like I was like, yeah, fucking. I might have even had two. I don't know. They were fucking good. Yeah. And then we go back to the hotel and Leandra just like, I need to use a bathroom. <laughs> and I was like. Oh, that's right. You don't have a steel trap. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're not ready for this business. You ain't ready for the fucking real world dog. That's the way it goes, dude. You just got to deal with what you get. And sometimes you get a hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, and your body doesn't know what to do with it. But you're at Anime Expo, so you got to bear through it. Man, I really want a hot dog, hot You got to go dog. see the premiere of Erased in English, bro. Yeah, fuck that. You know what? I'll, four days at Anime Expo, all I'm doing is eating hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Oh, shit. No ramen, no sushi. No, no curry, none. <laughs> no curry, none of it. I'll just bring my, I'll order a bunch of hot dog, hot dog, hot dogs, put them in my backpack and just eat them where you guys go to dinner. Bro, what about those vampire tacos? Oh, the vamp talks? Yeah. Okay, we might make an exception for fucking vamp talks. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Vamp talks. Honestly, I am very excited though. Uh, I don't know what's in store for this year. I know that they're, like, I keep seeing this person's going to be here. Mm -hmm. Announcement made for Anime Expo, all that shit. But like, I don't retain any of it. Because you're too psyched. I, yeah, I guess so. I guess I am. Uh, so what? Maybe I am. Maybe. <laughs> That's funny. I, I I think this year I've gotten more emails than any other year about what's going to be there at Anime yeah. Expo. I couldn't fucking tell you what's going to be there at Anime Expo. <laughs> like last year, I was at uh, least like, I was like, dude, man, world premiere fucking My Hero Academia. Yeah. Maybe going to be yeah. there. You know? That's what I was talking about today at work. I was just like, yeah, last year was great. This year, I don't know what I have planned. My hero was last year. That was fucking awesome. I was stoked. Also, I was pretty excited about Liz and the Bluebird. And then I saw that, and then it was it was great. Mm-hmm. It wasn't near the hype as uh, my hero is because there are so many more people that are jazzed up about that. And I, I yeah. want I want to say that last year was that, and the year before that, I was like super excited for the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood live action movie. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, and after watching, I was like, yeah, all right. But it's live action. But we watched. No, that. they did the preview over it. They're like, oh, we had right. like a panel yeah, for it. Yeah. I was like, oh, because like that's what something I was looking forward to. Uh huh. And then the year before that, like I had no expectations at all. So it's like every year, it's just like I, I kind of know there's something to be excited for. Yeah. I just don't know what it is this year. But guess what? I'm fucking excited for it. Whenever Dude, I find it's gonna out. be so. There's gonna be a random ass thing. And I know that there are certain people that don't go back to Anime Expo, like certain panelists and and whatnot uh, that don't like to go back to anime expo because of the fan base, because mm-hmm. they were too much. There is so much excitement that people sometimes forget boundaries yeah. and whatnot. They're like, Whoa, I understand you love my culture, but in my culture, don't, don't fucking <laughs> don't touch fucking me. Touch don't me. swarm me. <laughs> uh, like Aaron Hansen. Yeah. He's not coming <laughs> anime back. Expo. No, he won't come back. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because somebody, uh, somebody had come up to him and they were super excited and they like, they peed they, on him. They were, I think they were asking for a hug or something. He's like, nah, no, no, no. Cause he was doing a panel and they like came up really close and he's like, yeah, hey, it's security. Can I get, can I get security here? Or something <laughs> like that. And they thought he was doing a bit or something. So it took them a long ass time to get, to get security there. When he was trying to be like, I'm uncomfortable, please, security. Well, like, yeah, it's super weird. Come by. I mean, fucking. but that's, that's the kind of, pe- that's our people, man. That's our people. We're just so, pa- we are a passionate people. We love what we love. And if you don't love it, fuck you. <laughs> I guess that's why, uh, Rebecca Sugar won't go back because I fucking harassed her. Oh, dang. Wait, really? No. I'm <laughs> like, excuse me, because I'm not making shit up. No, no. You're I, over there lying. No, but how funny if that was like, yeah, I can't go back. Can't make sure some guy aggressively yelled at me once and I can't ever go again. I mean, you know, you're scaring folk. That's what you do, man. I didn't like bleed on her or anything. Tried to cut my hand. Like, yeah, I'm like, I remember you specifically drink trying to drink my blood. Yeah. Um, no, the trigger panels is always fun. There's a lot of excitement at those, you know. I feel like every year, yeah, we always end up going to a trigger panel. We're just like, yeah, we're going to go to a trigger panel. We sit there and we go, <laughs> I don't know what drawing the Fronx is, but I'm going to sit here and pretend like I fucking care. Or whatever. And then we watch it and we're like, I get okay, it. Okay, yeah. All right. Promare. All right. All right. I'll cool. see what you got in store. What if they were like, because Promare just aired in Japan or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like that's it's going on or it's about to. I don't know. What if they brought it to the U.S.? What if that was the premiere of Premiere? I would be so fucking Whoa. stoked. I mean, they also did... It was last year they did uh, Darling in the Bronx. They did something for like a... Darling Madoka in the Ma- Bronx had already like aired all the way, though. Was it Madoka Magica or whatever? What the fuck No, what was it? Um, Little Witch? Little Witch, right? They were talking about... I think you're thinking about like two years ago, man. Really? Yeah. What was la- last year's SSS Gridman, right? Dude... I can't. Well, we did we not go to last year's trigger? There panel? wasn't a trigger panel. I don't think. I'm pretty sure there was. Or we skipped it. We must have missed it. Because we're going this year, boys. Yeah, we are. But yeah, no. Last year they, if they did anything, they would have announced premiere. But I'm pretty sure they announced that at the same time as Darling in the Bronx, mm-hmm. which we for sure watched Darling uh, before Anime Expo last year. Mm-hmm. Anyways, Long I guess. Long story I guess, short, I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm really excited for the wedding. Also yeah. really excited for Anime Expo. Oh yeah, weddings are cool. Yeah. What about you, man? What have you been up to? Uh, so this week in Chris life, I have been excited about games, but I haven't been playing them. Mm. <laughs> That's mostly what's been going on. So, um, I found out about the new Sonic game, Sonic, uh, team racing. And as a, as a Sonic fan, Sonic's disappointing like a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you see the trailer? Yeah. So Sonic team racing fucking cool it's so fucking cool i found out about this i played a little bit of it not too much i don't understand what's going on yet but the thing is it puts a heavy emphasis on teamwork and like team gameplay so if you get in first but your team's not doing that hot you're not gonna actually place that well Mm -hmm. so that's cool so first person uh leaves behind a slipstream for the other players to go into the other teammates to go into which gives them small boosts and then it'll like rocket them forward if you stay in it for a certain period of time you could give items to your friends so you could communicate like the person in first might benefit better from like a cube that they could put behind them like a question mark block type thing in mm-hmm. Mario Kart while the person in last would definitely use a boost but when you give items to your teammates, it triples the item. So it's like even more beneficial. Oh, cool. So the whole time you kind of talk and you're like, all right, what do you need? I got like an attack. Okay, cool. I'll use that right now. Oh, I've got a boost here. Sling that my way. We'll be good to go. And you could constantly just be swapping items. And there's a lot of little elements to it. And then they have a, a story mode where it's essentially like Mario in a way, not like not Mario Kart. Like Mario Tennis? Original Mario. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kind of like Mario Tennis. Yeah. Where it has a map that you go along. And it's like stage one, one, stage one, two. Stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, and if you meet certain criteria, if you like get in first or whatever it is, or you place a certain amount, I don't know, different ones, then it'll unlock other pathways that allow you to do bonus challenges. So we only did three levels. The first two were regular. Just beat the bad guys, whatever it is, or beat your opponents, not even bad people. Uh, and then we unlocked a bonus route, which you have to go and do like, sh- essentially you're doing a slalom around, uh, checkpoints and you have to hit the red sides of the checkpoints. If you hit the yellow, that's fine, but it's not as good for you. And you like get little speed boosts and, uh, you have to try to get just as far as possible. So depending on how far you get changes what your rank is because you have a certain mm-hmm. amount of time. 
I just thought that that was a cool one, especially that you're playing it with a team. So everyone has to be going in like the same way and you can't bump into each other and whatnot. Just, it's pretty interesting. I'm really into it. So I want to explore that more. I want to play that a lot more. Uh, but it's pretty cool. So I've been checking that out a little bit here and there. And then, uh, Trover Saves the Universe is the new game by Justin Roiland, Squanch Games. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Squ- Squanch Tendo or whatever the fuck it's called. Is that Anyways. the weird guy with the eyes thing? Like it's the, the weird guy with the okay, eyes yeah, thing where his it, eyes have eyes. I keep seeing that on like uh, online. I'm like, God, it's so fucking creepy looking. Yeah, it turns out it's babies. Babies are in his eyes. Ugh. And those are the baby's eyes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they're called Power Babies. And it's pretty neat. Anyways, <clears throat> so I played about an hour or two of that in VR. And fuck, dude, it's fun. It's hilarious and it's fun and it's cool. Um, there are lots of like hidden items around the world. So essentially you sit in one spot and you control one character. Uh, but you're, so you're kind of playing as two. Anyways, you like go to certain points and that changes where you as the sitting person get to be and mm-hmm. that changes your perspe- perspective or whatever. And you could see different hidden things. So, um, as you tell the other person to go and explore and get these things, they're, they're green power babies. And each of these has a name and the names are always fucking ridiculous, but it also has a description about what they do and like who they are and stuff. And a lot of them wind up telling you to get a job. (laughs) And then some of them are just very straightforward. Like this baby fucks all in caps. And you're like, what? Okay, cool. What's going on? Weird stuff. Um, and then, at some point during the first level, after you're like collecting more, it's like, man, I fucking, I just love Power Babies, like the guy that you're controlling around. It's like, I love Power Babies so much, man. Just take a couple home and like get nice and relaxed. And man, they, they get you so fucking high, dude. They get you so high. And it turns out that these little babies are drugs to oh, him. Nice. He's like, oh man, you're powerful. But really, you just get like really stoned, man. You just get super big, super stoned. Feels like all of it's ad libbed. Which is a lot of fun, like a really <laughs> loose guide on what kind of stuff you should say. And I had a lot of fun with it. Um, so I'm excited to play more of that. And then I, I took a little detour, played some Left 4 Dead 2, because why the fuck not? Yeah. Let's do that. Played a tiny bit of Dauntless, doing some more of that. It's still fun. I fucking love it. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about Pixel Junk. Have I talked about Pixel Junk mm. on this? Okay, so Pixel Junk has a bunch of different games. They have pixel junk racer monster eden shooter uh and more pixel junk monsters is one of my favorite tower defense games of all time it's a great two-player co-op tower defense where you're playing on the map you go to these different trees and you can set up different kinds of towers uh cannons arrows flamethrowers anti-air defense lasers teslas all different kinds of stuff to stop these little monsters from going to your little tiki hut and killing all the babies pretty typical thing Mm mm-hmm So, it's really chill and really fucking stressful. Weird combination of both. The music makes you feel all relaxed. It's got, like, cartoony graphics that look unique and cool. Um, So, I was playing this the other night with my friend, and we beat one level, and we had to retry it, like, a bunch. Because you have to learn, like, which waves, and by a bunch, I mean, like, three times. You have to learn what waves are more important than others. Do you need to get rid of things to build some more anti-air defense? Or should we focus more on that in the beginning? Like, what should we do? Where should we put these points? So we beat the first level uh, that we were trying for, which now we're on the hard level of stages. And it was a lot of fun. It was really difficult. So we did one more game. And this one... We we played for a little bit, restarted, because we got severely fucked over, and we're like, all right, I think I can figure out what's going on here. Let's just try it for a second time, and then we'll call it done for the night. We got all the way to the boss, and at this point, we didn't know what we were in for. We made it pretty far the first time, decided not to check out the boss. We just wanted to see what each wave was so that we could be prepared for it, and realized, oh, we're pretty good. We could be prepared. We'll be fine. Get to the last boss. And instead of it just being one giant monster that slowly walks at you, that's really easy to take care of, it was two, and they took two separate paths. So, essentially, it's one giant circle Mm -hmm. at this level. It's uh, the level five hard area. And (laughs) they're taking two different paths. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, let's delete all of the anti-air stuff so we can get all the money that we can, and then just, like, let's keep deleting. And mine dies, like, a little bit before the hut, so I'm just deleting everything still, and I see over on Sam's side, because we separated on sides. 
Sam's side, the monster's walking. It's waddling. It's coming. It has like no health left. And it's right in front of our hut. And it's still walking. And it's walking and walking. And the cannon's not fucking firing. And it looks like it's out of range of the cannon now. And it's like touching the babies. And then suddenly the cannon shoots and explodes. And the whole time we're like, there's only one thing that could kill it. If it kills one baby, we're fucked. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We're panicking. There's nothing that we could do at this point. And uh, yeah, with that last second, just that ultimate relief of we did it i don't know how we did it but we did it i'm so fucking stressed if we just like we stopped it's super stressful such a fun game so charming so great um so played some of that and fucking i played something else recently i've been i've been gaming hard i'm a big gamer girl yeah sounds like it yeah. yeah uh doesn't matter but I don't know if you heard, but today there were some big Pokemon announcements. It was pretty exciting. Pokemon Sleep. Nailed it. Nah, that was last week. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Shield and something? They, did they Yeah, do they're the announcing stuff. No, no, not the starters. The legendaries yet? They're announcing stuff. Uh, they, yeah, they, they, they announced it. I don't know what it is because I'm talking as if I'm in the future and it actually aired this oh, morning. Okay. You haven't seen it yet, <laughs> but I haven't seen it all. It, but it's, it's at 6 a.m. They showed us. It's yeah. great. Oh Man, my God. Isn't that cool? Like, I didn't think that they were going to do that. It's super pretty surprised. shocking. You know, Honestly, it's a, it's a very progressive choice for Nintendo to take. It's cool. I, but we're in for a new experience. You know, this, it really solidified or, that in or, my heart or the same thing like always, but yeah. Yeah. Brand new, totally the same. It's really just the way that it is. Yeah. And that's all that can be said about it. Do they're going to change the game or keep the status quo? Oh, it's going to be exactly what they are doing with yeah, it. Yeah. They nailed it though. They, oh, without a doubt. Um, so anyways, cool stuff there, but in actual news yesterday, AKA today, uh, they put out a new monster hunter trailer Oh, cool! and it showed a, a couple of the new monsters. And I'm like, Oh cool. You get to see them kind of moving around. I didn't know what it was going to be like. Those fights look like they're going to be fun. Oh, that one looks really cool. Like you already know what some of the monsters do. It brings in a new one and you're checking that out. Oh, cool. And then at the end, it does a little like sneak preview thing again, where it's like, we're going to show you another monster, but we're not showing you. And it's one that, you know, from the past and it's Sam's favorite monster from uh monster hunter generations, which had four flagship monsters. Normally it's like, there's one big one. So for monster hunter world, there's not uh Nergigante. So people are super excited that we're going to be getting one of the ones from generations, which leads everyone to feel like, well, if they're bringing in flagships from these different games, they brought in Nargakuga, they brought in Tigrex, now they're going to bring in Glavinus. Does that mean that they're also going to bring in the other three from that? And if they are, I'm so fucking excited. There's like an electric dragon and it's gear kind of, it's like a green electricity. It's gear looks like iridescent bug electricity type stuff going on i love it super excited i hope they bring that one and then there's the like japanese dragon that blows bubbles and it's all watery and it's called mizutsune and i love that one that's the theme on my 3ds um it's like the background or whatever on there i love that and then the final one is just a giant ass mammoth, which makes a lot of sense because it's going to be an ice area. So they could definitely have a giant ass mammoth. It would be dope. And then there are other monsters too that I've been really looking forward to. And now we have seven of the 14 monsters on the anniversary poster, which are all the flagship monsters. Mm-hmm. And if they brought them all back, cause they announced the, or they put out the anniversary poster after they had done the like first couple of Iceborne trailer things. So people are like, Hey, you think? You think that this could be it? Maybe. I'm really, really fucking hoping. Because if I get Legiacris, my favorite goddamn monster, the fucking fishy wiggler, shoots electricity, it's terrifying. It's the first monster I ever fought in any Monster Hunter game. Playing the demo for Monster Hunter U, uh, Monster Hunter 3 U, or Ultimate, I don't remember what the fuck it was. On the Wii U is the point. Goddamn. I'd eat my own ass, boy. <laughs> you know, I would so eat fu- my <clears throat> own ass. Are so funny. Uh, so you know, I have to be I'm moving out pretty soon, right? Yeah. Because of everything. So because uh, of everything. Because of everything. Because marriage. Yeah. So I was at, I was at home and I was like, you know what? There's like just shit here. Might as well start like throwing stuff away. You know, stuff that I'm not gonna want to take with me. You know. Yeah. So I'm like looking through a bunch of stuff and like, bam and just like stuff I stuff I haven't touched since like you know it was like since the last time I moved, I was like, hmm, I, 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 I saved this for some reason. It's obvious it's not important to me. I should it's just been chuck about it. like what, two and a half years yeah, since you moved. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just like, hmm, I don't mean 
in my head, I'm just like, I remember future, I mean, past Juan being like, this is important. You shouldn't chuck this. And then mm-hmm. it, present Juan's like, I haven't touched this. This is going in the trash right now. But what I did find was, was a, I still owned a Wii U. Yeah. Which, which is super yeah, interesting. Yeah, you do. Because I remember owning a Wii U. Uh-huh. I, I remember like playing. Uh, we the, talked about the, Pokin, the, yeah. Splatoon. The Splatoon, the Mario World um, game I played Smash on. Smash Bros. Smash Bros, right. Um, I remember like had the controllers and I had my cousins over and we played. I remember I had that for a while, and then I moved. I must have packed it up, never unpacked it. Yeah. And it must have in my head just figured that, like, uh, I either, like... I got rid of it, or, I guess. I got rid of it, or, yeah. like, I, I like, you know, traded it in or something, yeah. you know? I didn't. I was like, oh, fuck, I guess I have this. Yeah, you do. Um, so I just kind of looked at it, like, dusted it off. I was like... And I looked at my cases, and I was like, oh, man, I only have the one game. Because mm-hmm. Pl- Splatoon's, like, on the distra... And it's on, like, the... It's on the fucking console or whatever. It's on stuff. Yeah. So I was like, ah. Oh. And then I was like, I wonder if the Mario game is inside of it. So I just plug it in and hit the eject button and out comes out Mario. I was like, oh, it is. It's like, cool. Nice. And I go, what would I do with this? Like, I, cause I'm not going to play it, you know, because whatever, you know, there's so yeah. much anime to watch. <laughs> um, I was like, in movies and TV yeah, that I like. And I was like, you. I was like, and I'm, and I'm like, I'm not going to play Mario fucking Super Smash Bros. Wii U by myself, you nah. know, on my nah. Wii U at home. And I was like, huh. Should I, like trade it in, and then I looked it up. I was like, I think it's like thirty bucks, like for like trading value. You're like that's pretty shit, you know. Like, so I was like, I guess I'll just put it in the box and fucking use it some other day. I don't know. What the, I don't. I'm honestly like, at it ends with it. I just kind of, I put, I dusted it off, put it on the box, and I go, I just put it back in the spot. I was like, I guess I just still own a Wii U. So, see, my thing when I was younger, uh, I would be like, yeah, I'm done with that game. I'm tired of it. Like, there's no, I'm not gonna play it again. Mm-hmm. Well, it was fun, but whatever. And then like five or six years go by and I'm like, oh, I really want to we'll play, play that game. game. Yeah. So now I don't sell any of my old <laughs> games and shit. Yeah. Um, and I definitely have busted out every once in a while. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. We're about to play the original Rayman. Well, yeah. Like, well, oh shit. We're about to play some Nintendo entertainment system. You played some Monster Rancher like not too long ago. You're yeah. Like, and I've still wanted to, but I'm like, it's such a big commitment when should i do this and i just haven't i've also been wanting to play sonic generations again i have wanted to bust out my wii u and play some games but i just you know anyways uh, whatever i I, I get it i get it i own a wii u Mm -hmm. um i thought i didn't own uh, any consoles but i do i own a wii u yeah i'm hopefully getting a switch sometime in the future Uh, yeah for sword and shield yes yeah sure no for splatoon 3 whenever they decide to drop it uh don't tell me it's dead don't tell me it's dead bro it's not dead. Good. By the way, I like Split uh, Inkling on uh, Smash Bros. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Good, good fighter. <laughs> yeah. It's neat. Krom, pretty cool. Yeah, Krom. Krom's cool-y. pretty strong. Cool boy. I think my main, though, honestly, probably Jigglypuff main. You not even close. Jiggin? No, oh, no oh I like, uh, what's I'm the, like, name, of the what's name of the dude with the book? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. One of the Fire Emblem boys. Yeah, what, Fire uh, Robin. Emblem. That's the one. Yeah. He's a, either a boy or a girl. I haven't played Robin. Uh, I haven't played Fire Emblem. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't played Robin that much. That's the uh, that's the guy I like to. I think he's. I think I'm the. When I play with all of them, that's the one I'm I'm best with. Yeah, but I like you know obviously like Mario and other characters and stuff. Cloud's fun to play with too. I recently Cloud's learned. pretty cool. I remember when he first I came. I played him like twice, but yeah, and he's I pretty cool. Played with him, and I was just like, I don't, I don't like this, but. I I've like been getting, style. I've been playing a lot with him now, like just on random and stuff. And every now and then, I'm like, oh, pick him to see what happens. He's pretty fun. He's really Dude, strong. Heavy hits, big yeah. heavy hitter. Not uh, pretty shit recovery, but I, just, you know, it's still pretty. I like his recovery. It's though. fun. It's, it's cool. cool looking. But I was like, God damn, do you suck? <laughs> like, I yeah. mean, a lot of characters like have that just like a bad recovery. And you're like, and if like, you're not used to it, yeah, it's bad. And then I guess, well, you know, if you didn't know how to play, then it makes sense. We we're uh, when we was when we were playing melee. Um, Josh, like, his girlfriend came over. And we had extra controllers, and we're like, hey, you want to play? Yeah. And she's like, I don't, I wouldn't know what to do. And we're like, so just fucking plug it in and play, you know, figure it out. Mm-hmm. And so she did. And we weren't like ganging up on her. We we're just kind of doing our own thing. And she obviously she didn't, I think she won one game by like, yeah. a, by chance or whatever. But uh, she was like doing, she was doing Mario and she was like doing like her up B all the time. And we're like, and I was like, I, and I had to like, I had to stop like, okay, I'm going to explain this to you. Cause I use Mario all the time. Like mm-hmm. when you do that, you're pretty vulnerable. Like when you fall down, you can't do anything else. So like use that sparingly. She's like, she was in like a one-on-one and she's like, all I know how to do is this up B thing. I was like, okay, you see a little stick, like use your other analog stick. It gives you like smashes and directions. And she's like holding, it's like, just tap it. So I'm like teaching her. Uh-huh. And she's like, how do you get back on the fucking, on the, how do you stay on the, on the platform? I was like, oh, okay. It's like. You have a double, you have a second jump. Don't forget about that. Sometimes you float, kind of like wiggled away. And it's just like, so it was like training her and she did pretty good. And I was like, you know what? Good for you. She's not like good, but it was a fun time. I was like, oh, it's nice. It's, it's fun to, you know, fucking instill wisdom onto other people. You're like, here you go. Let me, let me show you the way. That blows my mind that somebody would be 
actually down to join yeah. a bunch of people that play Smash Bros pretty regularly. Mm-hmm. Like, I would go in there and be like, you guys are going to kick my ass, and I don't know how I feel about this, but okay. And then to come in not knowing anything, that fucking blows my mind. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have fun if I was her. I, I would think, ha- not have fun at all. I thought she wasn't having fun, but, you know, she kept playing with us, and she wasn't, like, complaining or anything. And and I think uh, we do play all the time and stuff, but, like, we're also not very, like, serious about it. We're like, yeah. hey, like, you know, oh, I lost that one. Fuck. All right, next game. So Well, yeah, if you play on random and yeah, you yeah. have items on, you're not serious at all. Yeah, you're like, yeah. whatever. Yeah, so it's always just like, oh, it's random. Like, oh, cool. My main fucking Isabel. Here we go. Let's mm-hmm. fucking do it. Or you get fucking someone... You never use. I'm so bad with the ice climbers. It's embarrassing. I love the ice climbers. I don't get yeah, it. They're He's, fucking great. Oh, Rosalina, fucking Tri City USA. Anyways, how about we <laughs> oh uh, play about anime? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm down for that. What anime uh, didn't watch him? Okay, so you can't even talk to me about it, and I'm so mad that you can't talk to me about it. Is it Attack on Titan? <sighs> it's so good. Sorry, Horn. dog. It is Sorry. so. It's so fucking good. Honestly, it's blowing my mind. This is for sure the best show of the season. Uh, it's probably the best show of the year at mm-hmm. this point. Unless we get something Violet Evergarden level, it's not going to like be replaced in my head. Just okay. because it is so good. The last two episodes, we talked about mm-hmm. them. We like them. Just in our own time, we talked about them. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to not spoil anything for anyone. Just a heads up for all y- y'all. Um Last two episodes had some amazing situations. They finally, they got back to big character death type situations. Fucking amazing animation. And this last episode that we got was just mostly a conversation episode. So big shout outs to all the voice actors in this. Uh, Mikasa being really emotional and screaming about stuff and like really having to hold it together. Pretty much every character was so well spoken uh and emotional and just had so much power behind all of their lines aside from levi who is just levi and that's the best thing about levi clearly there's a lot of stuff going on in his head at all times but to us he just comes off like really really straightforward yeah Yeah. so amazing job from everyone in this episode so good uh and last the first half of the season was a lot of just like nothing happening really just a lot of talking and planning and nothing really going on and the second half that we've been watching this season uh this like spring season season of anime oh my god fuck dude yeah fuck yeah yeah it's it's, baby what's interesting is like i remember complaining a lot about uh season two and being like Stuff happens, but nothing happens, you know? And I was like... Sure. I, was, I mean, you know, if you don't count the whole Historia... And yeah, you don't I fucking count couldn't the, give a fucking shit. The fucking Battle Tower no, no, fuck. and the yeah. Beast Titan Trashing showing up saying. and all it, of It the, all happens in, like, in three nights or whatever, you know? And I was like, ugh. But this one... This I loved se- it. Yeah, this second half of, you know, season three or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, fucking season... I mean, <laughs> season three. Yeah, it is season um, three. It's all one operation, right? So far, it's only been yeah. the one the one mission. I'm I like, wouldn't even call it an operation. I would call it a clusterfuck. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a mission. I, it is. Their, their, their missions are just one thing. It completely oof. But uh, yeah, it's fucking great. I'm, I'm, I haven't seen the latest episode. I did go to watch the last episode and the one before that. Um, and I'm also not going to spoil it just for anybody's out there. Because it's one of those things where like, we, you and I were talking about it. Mm-hmm. How uh, If you it, haven't caught up with the anime, you got to fucking and catch up. And we're just up. like, yeah, we're telling everybody we know. We're like we're screaming it from the fucking mountaintops. We're like, yeah. have, you, have you watched? And then That's people, pretty much it. All people are like, oh, I fell off. I'm like, fucking get back no, on it. Get dog. on that get horse, on dog. It. Um, I hit yeah. on my friend who's fucking obsessed with it. And she's just like, uh, I mean, I'm gone on vacation right now. Like, bitch, and download it. I'm like, fuck, you got to watch it, though. You go, I'll just, making me I'll so just mad. Snap, I'll snap it to you fucking <laughs> minute at a time. I got you. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going to for sure watch that um, episode when I get a chance. But I am super excited. I'm really liking the way this uh, this season of Attack on Titan has been panning out. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, And then... Oh, what other anime? Rising of the Shield Heroes. So let's check out this. Mm -hmm. Uh, Still good. It's not like the best writing ever, but Mm -hmm. like it's fun and I'm having a good time with it and I want to see where it goes next kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, essentially like Big Bad got taken down. That's where we're at right now. But like Big Bad being like a smaller Big Bad than the actual Big Bad. Because the Big Bad is like essentially just demons just popping out of nowhere every once in a while. Big old waves, big old oil slicks in the sky. Hell yeah. That's what I think every time I see that. I'm like, oh Oh, yeah, someone spilled some oil. Like, ew, (laughs) Ew. somebody's got to clean that up. Fucking get some, get some sand on it because you you put water, it's just gonna ruin it. Yeah, no, don't want that. Don't want water on um, that. 
so yeah, anyways, Shield Hero's good. Uh, it's one of those things that I feel like started out really strong, got a little bit weaker, was having fun with it, mm-hmm. and the writing overall has really just dropped off. It's just gotten a lot worse as it's been going on, but like, nice. I'm still having so much fun with it, so I'm cool. I feel like it's like the uh, the, the slime effect where like I really I really dig in the beginning. I wouldn't compare it to slime because I fucking I hate it. What say like I really I'm saying is like it's it really started good. I really just dig yeah. in it. It was really different different isekai or whatever it's like it's cool and then as it's like oh it's just bad now and it's just like oh and there's no real hope and they keep talking about how they're doing the next season for it i'm like great i don't care shield hero after we know there's that turn i was like, I was like yeah. man i really hope this doesn't just start sucking because yeah because i really well, still enjoy I've been it. burned yeah i've yeah. been burned <laughs> um but i agree yeah shield hero the writing's not good no more is right no <laughs> well it's a lot of like I'm going to attack you guys. And it's like, all right, guys, what are we going to do about this attack? He's like powering up right we now. Got, like, yeah. Oh, he's like, we, we got, got like five, five minutes, minutes to figure this out. And then it's like, no, fuck you. You're an asshole. No, fuck you. You're an asshole. Like, hey, guys, we're all assholes. We have to work together. And then they <laughs> yeah. go, all right, assholes, let's work together. And he's like, anyways, here's my here's attack. My attack. <laughs> <laughs> really? guy? Yeah, this is okay. <laughs> the guys like the guys up there charging and saying, he's like, I wonder what they're talking about. Should I stop them? No, I'll just, I'll just let them talk about it. I'm going to charge this thing. And I mean, they're probably not talking about how to get rid of me. No, it's okay. I got this. It's like, God fucking damn it. I agree. So yeah, um, that all got wrapped up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So glad that that's done. I really like what's going on with this show. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens more, but the writing's not that great. Mm-hmm. Uh, which speaking of not that great writing, let's go to one punch man. Um, one punch man. They, it's a really confusing show because mm-hmm. any part with Saitama, I care about so much more because I feel like the writing is a lot better. And like, They go for some comedic moments and they're pretty good comedic moments. And then they focus on a bunch of other characters that I don't give a shit about for like way too long. And it's not that I don't give a shit about them because it's not Saitama. It's just, it's not Saitama. Make me care. Oh, cool. You're not making me care at all. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't care. care, Fucking dope. Um, but they did introduce, I don't remember his name, but I'm just going to say dog man. I think his name is dog man. Could, well, there was another one that I think might be named dog man. It's the guy that's, two, in, the, the guy that's in the puppy suit. <laughs> the guy that looks like a fucking dork in a little suit. I yeah. fucking love that guy. Oh my God. Amazing. He's just flying around kicking ass. I loved it. The last I saw, he was just chilling on like a pedestal. It was like mine. Yeah. those beeswax. And then a fucking meteor comes out and fucks him. And I uh-huh. go, <gasps> No, <laughs> you know, um, I was talking to Kyle about him. I was like, yo, man, because I hadn't, hadn't seen him in the show uh-huh. yet. Uh, and I saw him like, he's like a little bit in the intro, right? Yeah. And I saw like, he was like on the panel in the manga that he was reading currently. And I go, hey, man, what's that guy's deal? And he goes like, oh, yeah, this is so-and-so. And I'm like, so what's his powers? And he goes, yeah, I don't fucking know, man. They haven't really <laughs> explained it. He's just the Honestly, dude. he just goes dogs. around and beats the shit yeah. out of people in a dog suit. Yeah. I think, I think his character design is really cool. Uh-huh. And, uh, I, I also, and whenever he pops up on the screen, I really enjoy him I too. I loved, so they had a little bit of that, which I fucking loved. And then all the other stuff that didn't have to do with Saitama. I was like, I mean, mm. I get why you're doing this, but like, ugh. Yeah. You're like, and people are eating like demon cells or monster cells or whatever. And I'm like, gross, but okay, whatever. Yeah. It's been fun. Um, anyhow, uh, since we're on the topic of One Punch Man, uh, the latest episode got delayed a week hmm. because of one reason or another. I think it had to do with France. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I was going to say that. Fucking um, France. Actually, that's so, not true. We, we have listeners from France. Yeah, France is dope. Yeah, they got the... Uh, we'll talk about France later. Yeah, next week's episode, France. No, we'll talk about France later in this episode. Ooh, it's fine. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, coming up. Don't worry. Um, so let's talk about Dororo for a second. Yeah, okay. We're almost done with the first season of Dororo. It's been going on for a while now. Uh, and this last episode was... It had a lot of really powerful stuff with Hyakumaro not knowing, like, essentially what his next step is going to be. Yeah. Uh, he wants to get his body back still, clearly, but he he's kind of figuring out what he cares about most. Um, and it shows you how much he cares about Dororo and how he's not thinking things through and just... All those different elements to it. So I'm really liking this show that we're almost at that end part where he may or may not get his body back. And if he does, he's got to fight the big bad. So he just realized who he's got to go and kill. Um, So, yeah, it's been it's been rad. I've been liking that a lot. Uh, Going on to some other fucking Crunchyroll shows. Uh, What what else is on Crunchyroll? Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. Thank you. It's okay. So, (laughs) yeah. 
God damn it, it looks so good. Doesn't it look fucking great? I like the, uh, whenever they're fighting, they do like a different, like... Yeah, every once in a while they go 3D animation with it, too. Yeah. And the 3D is so clean and fluid and fast, and I love it. Yeah. Which blows my mind. They do the kick-ass water animation. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Some parts of it are dumb looking, like the whole arrow magic from the more recent episodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was pretty dumb looking, Uh, yeah. It looks fucking dumb, but... It's in the manga. I get it. Whatever. It looks dumb, but eh, whatever. It honestly, it's it's just turned into a shonen. Mm-hmm. Not a big fan of yeah. that part of it. it. It doesn't. The writing isn't impressing me. But fuck, the animations are really fucking good, bro. I watch them and I'm like, yeah, give me some more. I think. Uh, I think it's kind of like just like that's just this what shonen zoo right like mm-hmm. they suck you that's that's dragon yeah. ball right like you're not there to fucking see goku learn something and character development but you, you seem would there, be if it was written well if yeah no if it was but that's a, but attack that's, on titan but that's not that's not their point their point yeah. is like we want kick-ass fights and bomb-ass animations so exactly. that's what they do right yeah so that's how i feel about demon slayer also like i really like the way it looks I, it looks I, so good I, you know whenever they're fighting whenever they do their, their stylized attacks they're whenever they happen to put 3d in it looks yeah. really great yeah uh the stories i mean in my head not the it, most compelling it's not it's okay I mean, I, I'm still going to watch it, though. There was a part where somebody was like, Ugh, that ugly girl or whatever. And he's like, you don't fucking call my I sister ugly, her, bro. She's the hottest girl in my town. I think he called her an eyesore. He's like, how dare yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, he like lost his shit. I was like, like, yeah, why are you fucking pimping so, out your sister? Right. Like, I was like, since when has this ever happened? Like, he has not once said about how well, much he's secretly been wanting to fuck his sister the whole time. But that's yeah, just, that's all shown in. It fucking made me so mad. I'm like, this character development came out of nowhere and it was way too intense. Yeah, but before that, uh, they had fucking udon which looked really good so i forgive it okay good <laughs> <laughs> no i that's how i mean I'm, I'm still like in demon slayer i think i'm gonna keep watching it i think you know if i think about it like really hard like is this better than naruto like the writing of naruto in my head and i go yeah for sure because the reason i like naruto is because i was a kid didn't know better right i, I think i think another reason is it's been such a long time since Naruto yeah. came out that they've realized oh we this can is do, how we yeah, can like we, yeah. yeah we can fudge it and we can make it look better the story's a little bit better. It's still not like, good or anything. You know, it's it's not like it's not no. written amazing like some erased or whatever or fucking you know, it's not gonna make you cry like uh fucking Violet Evergarden. But mm-hmm. it, it they I don't think that's their selling point. Their selling point is let's get no. boys in here watching other boys fight with swords with cool stuff, and that's what yeah. they're doing. And Apparently, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just so, didn't expect it to go that direction. Yeah. Uh it, I mean it clearly was gonna go that direction. Mm-hmm. But I didn't expect it to go that way because in the beginning there was so much like introspective moments and a lot of like overcoming this and like that's out the window yeah and i was also like i really want to learn more about this world and i'm not learning much more about the world instead of just like some demons are good some demons are bad i don't know fucking whatever and i'm like wait what well (laughs) because okay it it was very like uh you know it was very introspective right very cool very fucking deep and i was like cool Let's go do this fucking exam thing. And then yeah. after the exam, it like, became very shown. It was like, this is your next mission. Go to your mission. And this is your mission. Go to your mission. And now it's like, he's got a new mission. Where it's like, collect samples from fucking different demons and send them my way. And I'll find a cure. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. cool. So it's, okay, so he's been given a task to do. It's essentially Pokemon, right? Like, yeah. okay, go collect, go collect them all. I think one of the things that irritates me, too, is that he immediately is just like, go and kill these like really difficult ass demons mm-hmm. not even like regular ass go kill hey, don't the build demons. your way up no just, it's just... like big shit which totally fine with that being the first one to fight like oh man that's cool but i wish that instead of being like intense 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 like all this four episodes in a row or whatever i wish instead it was like i mean you get a couple of easy missions here like they're not always hard yeah you know what give us some like simple throwaway episodes where like you get to learn who he is or whatever and care about it more i just want to see like a really quick fight and be like oh i'm done okay cool i would like to see him get his ass beat every now and then you know like yeah you know it's like because that's kind of how shonen's are right you're not the best you get beat up you get better right yeah but i feel like in this if you get beat you're dead yeah but like they can the stakes are high they can have him lose and not die essentially you know like they would have to be really convincing but yeah they could do i'm saying it's possible it's not impossible Mm -hmm. um like he could be fighting like another demon slayer guy right yeah and he could just whoop his ass i'm like i'm not even gonna kill you you're not worth killing or whatever it's like cool great you got his ass beat but why would he be fighting another demon slayer so they have to give us some reason behind it maybe he's protecting his sister maybe he's protecting his sister more on the fucking characters maybe the other demon slayer is like i gotta kill his sister because he's a (sighs) demon he goes like no you can't because i'm protecting this demon slayer because she's in my back and she's not an eyesore and then he goes well i gotta fight you and then you fight the shit each other 
Yeah, it's <laughs> shitty writing. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, thanks, <Jake. laughs> that's, a, that's all I'm saying about it. I'm like, you really have to make it convincing because I wouldn't believe that for a second, mm-hmm. considering all these people are supposed to be very smart and talented. Anyways, I totally get that. He could have his ass beat. That would be great to see. Yeah. They unfortunately made it a world where it's so difficult to cause a situation that makes enough sense for him to get his ass kicked that they can't do it. Yeah, for sure. It's just, it's such a fucking finite thing where he doesn't get that growth from being killed. It's just like, he doesn't have much to draw from now. Yeah. He also doesn't have a squad for us to like, for him to squad up. You know, they, Not keep, yet. they keep showing us that he's going to squad up with somebody, intro. right? I sure he's have. He's going to have friends. So. He's going to have a boar boy. He's going to have a yellow head. Yeah. So it's like, I, I know eventually he will have friends. It was like, but it hasn't happened yet. So it's like, okay, cool. So you're just the chosen guy with the black sword for right now. So yeah. anyone like people that watch Black Clover, let me just put it this way. People that watch Black Clover, watch this show instead. <laughs> like, Black <laughs> Actually, Clover. If you, okay, hold on. If you've been committed to Black Clover, um, fucking stick with it because the fights I mean, are yeah, looking, the you. fights are looking really good now. I I see clips of it online I'm like that's dope. I'm not fucking putting up with it. I'm not going to go watch it to get to here. The clip that people post most from it is episode like fucking 30 something. That's what I'm saying. And it's already episode like 80 something. You, yeah. So back then is the one that people really <laughs> liked. I haven't seen anyone post shit that they're like, really check out this fight. It's like, no, that was back in like episode 18. That was in like 32. Like y'all need to catch up. There's only going to be 50 episodes. Okay. Trip. Let them oh watch the 50 episodes. I fucking wish, dude. I fucking wish that you could wrap up a Shonen in that amount with that. Like it's going to be hype as fuck, man. Shonen, you know, it's cool. Whatever. Check it out. We're going to do 50 episodes, Doug. That's what they said. Like, That's what they're going to do. Yeah. But how about we just never stop airing it? And it's just like a weekly show that really, really isn't that great. But like we keep doing it and we have the characters. So like that's pretty cool. And we love Black Clover, are, by the way. It's a great show. Ah, just mm, it, it rubbed me the wrong way after watching that many episodes because I was like, I'll stick with it. You know, they say it's going to be the next big boy. I'll yeah. stick with it. Fifty, episodes, I could handle it. I was lied. I was fucking lied to. I was goddamn lied to. I think, uh, yeah, I think they lied to you, but it's also like. <laughs> It's also your fault for falling for the lie. Because you're like, yeah, yeah 50 yeah. episodes, it sounds too good to be true. It, it really fucking was. Anyways, anime was a mistake. That's all I have to say. That's that's my fucking episode. Goodbye. That's the last episode. Um, I don't think I've watched any more cool. anime, really. I think uh, uh, the only thing that I... Watched I, some anime clips. That I watched this yeah. week, uh, most recently, was the that last episode of Attack on Titan, which was really good. Which yeah. we're not going to talk oh, about, so we don't yeah. want to spoil it. God, it was, but the animation was Looks so really clean. Good. Yeah, good story. Just good. all the spins, all the busting. Just Oof, a good show, you know. Maybe. Just all around good show. Um, the slip, slide, slapping. Watch some Demon Slayer. We were talking about Hell that. Yeah, how do you feel about we that? Have. Wait, uh, how do you feel about that again? <laughs> uh, it looks good, and that's why I'm watching it. Uh-huh. It's not the best story. Gonna keep watching it. Probably, yeah. I ain't gonna stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Um, Death's not. Uh, and then, what's the name of the Kappa show again? Uh, sorry, I was on my. I'm a little bit behind on that. Watch, I saw you were catching up a little bit with yeah. Sierra recently. I'm yeah, still behind on that. Watch some more of it. Uh, yeah. I I enjoy the show. It's really stupid. It's very um, you know, it's very the samey kind of thing. You know, the we learn same, about same. yeah, same same but different. You know, fucking. There's always a new desire that shows up. They always do their dances. They always do their little fights and. Yeah, man, I I fucking dig it. I think those little Kappa fuckers are fucking cute as fuck. Hell yes. <laughs> and then I saw what a real Kappa looks like. Oh, yeah. God, they're scary looking. A real Kappa. I mean, like, what they look like in mythological, like, that the like the folklore what like yeah. what there's what those little cute things are based off of like those don't look anything like the yeah, things no, that there are like, lots of different things i mean they essentially they just look like freaky ass people with yeah. uh with little halos but they're also frogs with like beaks yeah they're scary looking yeah they're neat but yeah so i'm still liking that show uh i really like sometimes they have shells yeah i like the I like the music i like the the songs and the dances and it's very fun one thing that i don't really like about the show is that i was hoping for different songs I was hoping for different dances, but like, I know that's asking a lot. Yeah, that is. It, uh, genuinely, I realize I'm asking a lot. <laughs> you are. But I thought with the first episode, the fucking insanity, I was like, they're crazy enough to go all out and do different songs and dance. They didn't. Yeah, they, did, they do the same song and just change one lyric. Yeah, it's like the same sequence every time, too. There is spinning, like, 
yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, no, totally fun. And I think you may get caught up to the point that I'm at. Yeah. Um, I'm like three or four episodes behind now, and you're about those, the same now. <laughs> those characters have like some of like the saddest lives for some reason. You know, like fucking yeah, sad I mean, boys. We've fucking... all been there, you know. We've been dealing drugs, cats stealing. Parents... Uh, turns out I was abused my whole life or whatever. Parents die, you know, you end up selling drugs. You're, you killed someone, your brother yeah. took the fall for it. <sighs> been there, man. I think the other guy's like, he's adopted or whatever, and he True. also, it's his fault his brother's in a wheelchair, his hat's his stepbrother. That happens. Which fucking trip trip look at me i'm blew my mind uh, okay because i was sitting uh, there and i was like there there's an episode where like the little boy meets his the fan the one that he mm-hmm. dresses up as you know yeah. he, like he crosses as and he's in a wheelchair i'm like i'm like i wonder why he's meeting him like is it like a like is it like a like a meet and greet where you can but it feels more like a uh make a wish kind of thing like, yeah, like yeah. he's like hey i'm a i'm a sorry kid in a wheelchair let me meet my fa- my favorite person and i was like why is he in a wheelchair and i was like has he always been in a wheelchair and right. then i kind of thought back to it's like i've never seen him walk you know he's always yeah. been sitting somewhere yeah and then i was just like and then they do the flashback it's like oh okay now i understand why like you want to you know protect your brother and, and you go you go way way beyond like way beyond making happy like you dress oh, man, up like this yeah. chick every day and you're like i was like because it's y- y- your fault that he can't walk i was like that's fucked this show's kind of fucked. Like, there's this. I mean, I like that element. To yeah, it. and I'm saying that's a really good. It's a really cool, interesting part. And it's just this like, is one of those shows where there's so much insanity that you wouldn't expect the plot to be intriguing. Yeah, but the plot's really intriguing, and really, it's the insanity where it's just like, oh yeah, I've seen this. I think. I think all <laughs> after of, you've seen yeah, a little bit, yeah, all, yeah, you know, yeah, like okay, cool. It's just like every week, it's like okay, cool. Let's add another. Let's add another sad layer to their fucking cake. Like what? What yeah. else could have happened to you to make you who you are? Right? It's like shit, man. That's dark. Oh, yeah. they just grab people. Butts tight, yeah. cool. The little boy that um, that's like a best friend with the glasses. Uh huh. I've only I, he. I want to know more about. Yeah, because because all, all I've gone from so far is that he's in love with his best friend yeah. and he likes to sexually assault people because that's yeah. fucked. And I'm still upset about that. I like him. Le- I like him less than the fucking guy that killed somebody. Yeah, because the guy killed somebody because he kind of had to. Had to in yeah. a way, you know. I mean, Could have killed him. Yeah. Doggy dog world. But the fucking, uh, it's weird. I don't know, man. Like, any time that you're asleep, I'm like, I could kiss him on the lips, but he's not awake. That's not consent, boys. When I'm asleep? Yeah, when you're asleep. Well, when you're asleep, I, just, I kiss you on the cheek. Well, yeah, I know, because I'm awake, and I always ask for it. Yeah, I'm like, hey, maybe if you just kiss me on the cheek. And every time that you're just like, hmm. And then you go and you kiss me on the cheek, and you're like, that felt right. You go, it's like, you it's like only true love's kiss can wake up the prince. I go, okay, Trip, I'm going to kiss you now. <laughs> um, I, that's it. That's it's honestly, very consensual here. Besides, uh, like, a new anime, that's the only new anime I got around to this week, just because yeah. Sierra had to go do her thing. Dude, totally um, good. So, you know, and I watched a lot of anime with her, so. Yeah. Uh, I have been watching, <clears throat> I watched some more Yu Yu Hakusho on Hulu. Yeah. Um, I'm getting to the point where, like, uh. Remember how I told, I don't know if I told you this, the reason I always wanted to watch Yu Hakusho is because like, I remember catching a, like a random episode way long than a day. You want to see that episode? I saw it. It oh. happened. It fucking happened. And okay? how did it feel? It felt good. Like it felt, yeah. it wasn't like a yeah. good, it was like a good episode. It's different than how I remember it. Like nostalgia wise, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the crazy thing about this shit. Cause I remember specifically watching the last episode of Trigun at my friend's house yeah. and how it all went down. And I'm like. Wait, that was, that was one of I thought that was like three episodes. Like when I'm watching it now, yeah, I'm yeah. like, holy shit, yeah, like that this show's so fucking good. Yeah, that was 22 minutes. So I'm watching. I'm like, oh, I remember things being a little like arranged differently or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the whole thing was this episode where they're um, they get caught and like they stuck in a room in a dungeon or whatever, and, and they have to play a little kid like some game or whatever to the death. And um, now I rewatch. I finally got to it. The game. The name of the episode is called Game Over, which fucking pissed me the fuck off because yep. i'd always talk to people about it and people like i'm oh, in because i'd be like have you seen you hawk show and they'd be like yeah and I'm like do you remember this episode and they go no i don't remember you know what's interesting is a lot of people don't realize that after the the fucking what's it called the black tournament which is like the first part of the show yeah they think, kept going they think that's it there's more to it so i was like oh it's in the later half of it so i got past the episode i wanted to see little boys in the dungeon with the games and he gets killed because he got tricked and it's really sad. I'm like, Oh man, I don't, I don't remember it going down that way, but I was like, oh, I really like this. I was really happy. I was able to close that chapter in my life and see that part. Yeah. And then I took a, like a, like a week hiatus and me, you was like, it's cool. I did it. And then I was like, you know what? I should finish this bitch Let's get out. back in there. So I watched some more of it. Um, there's, I think right now, like this is the same evil group uh, that I was talking about that tricked that kid into killing, trying to kill these people. They're trying to open like a portal to in the world or whatever. And, uh, to let out all these demons and yeah. destroy world. pretty pretty status quo for this kind of show. Hell yeah! So that's where I'm at right now. It's like I think uh, the main character is fighting him, and there's I think 
maybe 40 more episodes after it. And I think it's just another tournament, which is fine. Again, shown in, right? And it's yeah. also old. Um, I also watched some more um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Nice. Um, I'm on part four, which is like... You're near the end. Yeah, near the end yeah. there. He's he's like, he's met all the players that I've seen in the past. And like people like, people are going to be there for the very end of the, the show or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Because, you know, I've seen this one before. Yeah. But, it, but it feels good. It feels good to just watch something that I that no one yeah. likes. So. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so uh, that's besides that, that's all... That's all anime. Old anime, new anime I've been watching. Nice, dude. Nice. You want to uh, talk about some news? I don't see why not. I might have some news for you. So the, the first piece of news is about a little show called Dr. Stone. Yeah. It's not out yet, but guess how long it's going to be. Oh, okay. So there's only there's only ever two answers for this. Actually, oh. a sneaky third one. I don't think it's 50. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the sneaky third? Yeah, the sneaky third. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah. I don't think it's 50. Oh, I'm going to say it's two core, which means 24. It's 24 episodes. Boys. Yes. Yeah, we watched yes. that. <laughs> I did it, boys. So, it, the only other answer is 12. <laughs> so, they were like, yeah, this shit's good enough that we could do two. Yeah, people, <laughs> okay, cool. People really like that manga. Um, I'm excited to see the show. Yeah. I like the art style. and Liking they, the character designs. They've kind of translated it over to the anime. It so. feels like the world is so rich. Um, Like... The world design, not mm-hmm. necessarily like the, I, I don't know shit about the world. Let's just put it that oh, way. Like, do you want a little, no, no, I, I, know. What I know, I know, I know. But what I'm trying to say is like, I don't understand if it's the same world that we're on oh, or yeah. like if it's something different, if it's, but or our earth or a different earth. Exactly. Earth. Yeah. yeah. But the visuals and everything are stellar. They mm-hmm. look amazing. Um, I really want to dive into just the, the natural state of the world because everyone's pretty much frozen, turned into stone. Yeah. That's essentially the plot of the yeah, show, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so spoilers for it, Dr. Stone. It's, yeah. It's like post apocalypse type thing, yeah, yeah. which I fucking love mm-hmm. the nature runs wild and overtakes civilization kind of thing. I like that one a lot more than, uh, Shit just goes to hell and everything. Yeah, everything becomes a desert. There's I hate that post apocalyptic desolation or like a rich, beautiful yeah, life. Yeah. And I love the rich, beautiful life, but shit's fucking tough. Yeah, that's why I love The Last of Us so much. Is yeah, that okay. the whole cities are like overrun by all these vines and everything, and, and you're plants like, and like wildlife. This is really like, cool. cool. Yeah, as uh, opposed to just no being no water, no electricity, everything's on fire, and you're yeah. just like, oh, this sucks. It's just like you're in the in the fucking road over here. You're <laughs> yeah. like, oh man, people are eating people. It's I love dirty. the road though. The road that's, is a good movie. It's yeah. So fucking good. Uh, I haven't read the book. Sounds too dark for me, honestly. I, I couldn't read the book. Um, they don't do uh, punctuations for uh, like... Uh, uh, no, I, I totally get it. And it's hard for me to fucking follow along who's speaking, so uh-huh. I really like it. But the movie's fucking dope. But uh-huh. again, that post apocalyptic world, fuck that. I would yeah. hate to be in that one. Give yeah. me the trees any day. <laughs> Give me the I'd trees. rather be eaten by a giant like mutated lion than, oh, yeah, than hell fucking... Yeah. Dude, dying from like a cool monster? That's fucking dope. Way better. Yeah, hell yeah. I was watching some shit. I don't remember what it was. I do remember it was godzilla and i was thinking about how like yeah the (laughs) the new godzilla um i was thinking about how you getting crushed instead of by a boulder uh by a giant kaiju how do you feel like would you rather be bouldered or would you rather be kaiju oh i've had the choice yeah can it be in my sleep yes i'll allow it i'll take kaiju (laughs) okay cool just wanted because i've always always said the way i want to go is uh in my sleep but also a giant boulder yeah (laughs) a giant boulder (laughs) crushes you in your sleep so um And a kaiju crushing you in your sleep. I will, I will, will allow it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's, that's better. Or is it on the same level? It's on the same level. Okay. Like, I don't want to, cause like I'm really looking forward to that boulder, mm-hmm. but a kaiju is pretty tough. I would be really into dying from a kaiju. Like if it's instantaneous, if I'm just crushed, that's a pretty good death pretty to good me. Way to go, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Anyways. Makes you, makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, back to Dr. Stone, of course. Um, we haven't seen any, like, cities overrun with w- wildlife mm-hmm. and nature and stuff. But everything that I'm seeing, like, all these mountains, all this greenery, it looks really fresh. And I'm excited to see what the rest of the world is. If it is, like, a post-apocalyptic kind of, like, there are cities and everything that are... It could be really cool, is what I'm saying. I have no idea anything about it, but I'm excited for the potential. You know what I'm calling it, man? Yeah. Dr. Stone, new big three. <gasps> Here it is. My Hero Academia. Okay. Dr. Stone. Okay. And then there's a new show coming out called like... Black Clover. <laughs> no, fuck them. It's called like Fire or something. Oh, the Firefighters? Yeah, that one. The Fire Boys? Because it's essentially... Uh, you think that one's going to be long? Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, um, oh, good. It's, I think it's the cool. same fucker that did uh, uh, the one with the fucking Soul, Soul Reaver. I was trying to remember what it's oh, called. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. But um, 
Fucking that one has potential to be a big three. I'm okay, calling it here okay, now, boys. Okay, okay, big three. Calling it, calling it. Get out of here, Boruto. Get the fuck out of here, Black Clover. Oh, You're shit. done. Honestly, they is done. They That's kind of like, nobody talks about Boruto. They're still going. No one yeah. fucking cares about it, though. No. Whatever. No. All right, cool. So stuff that also people don't care about, but I really do care about. So I'm telling you guys about it. A new Sound Euphonium anime has been announced at uh, UFO UG Festival, but there's no word if it's a TV anime or a film anime. What do you think? What do you hope? I, bet you would. I hope it's a show. Really? Yeah. You weren't satisfied with... <clears throat> sorry. You weren't satisfied with the fucking movie you got? Oh, I absolutely was. But if this is a new sound euphonium, that's different mm-hmm. than being a spinoff. I would much rather have a TV show wrap it up because... TV show has allowed a lot of time for a lot of different plot and mm-hmm. build up. Movies, I feel like, can't accomplish the same thing with such a big cast and with so many different moving parts. Um, it's, it has to be a smaller situation, or it could be a giant situation, but they have to like really jam things in there, just make it work. But I feel like the TV show is like, all right, we get a full year of their lives. Are they, um, so <clears throat> they the, would be seniors. Okay, or so their status right year. now is yeah. second, right? Yeah, so they would be third years. Cool. Um, yeah. For this last season, so. Bro, fucking, you know, I'm fucking praying big ups for you. Hopefully it's a show, but I'm, I know if it's a movie, you'll probably still watch it. Well, just, yeah, we'll unless, see. Unless it's a recap of both seasons. Yeah, it's just a recap movie. Yeah, it's great. But I'm excited. I'm stoked that they said something about that. Uh, so I hope that Kyoto Animation keeps doing their fucking work yeah. on it anyways remember back in earlier in this episode when in i the said past, yeah yeah you remember when i said uh, talk about france boy yeah so this is this is france akira toriyama the creator of dragon ball has been knighted by france oh yeah we they uh, were knighted yeah I, I posted this i think uh yeah dude was knighted good for him i didn't know um anything i didn't know that before france this. was super huge on anime enough to knight a homie but uh, i thought we had talked about france a little bit about oh, how much yeah, they, they do they like do anime like anime right they they do french fucking thing yeah you're right good for them <laughs> i was like i don't know man i mean like you know, what, what's kind of shitty is that like european countries can knight people and mm-hmm. that's like a huge honor what yeah. the fuck what can we do we could give them horses and forget about it ah uh, yes we uh we gifted the uk uh we gifted the queen a pewter horse, a little figure type thing, and that a was it? statue. Uh, and Donald Trump was over there and he was walking with the queen. She's like, Hey, you recognize this guy? He's like, no. He pushed it over. He's like, it's <laughs> fake. And then his wife stepped in and was like, yes, we gifted that to you. <laughs> no I, shit. I remember that. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, pretty wild. Anyways, shout outs to shout presidency to... <laughs> and also, uh, queens and whoa shit, let's not so. get political but honestly shout outs i'd be down to get knighted that's cool good yeah. for him <laughs> dude i would knight you if i could i would knight you like sexually or like an actual knighting eh. yeah that's what i thought <laughs> i don't have any more news this has been a slow news week we're yeah, at the cool. point where we're about to have a whole bunch of shows drop so i could be like hey new trailer hey see so here's some art here's uh here's some stuff but you uh, you can't see it cool. you can't see what i want to say okay it's fine let's talk about this week's uh episode god damn let's do it all right, Forest of Piano, made by Studio Gaina. Who who do you think they is? Who did they do? Do you remember? Do you remember who they? What I know? Yeah. Um, is it something? You I, haven't seen it. I, I can love, tell you, you haven't seen it. I love it. playing this game. Here All we right, go. You haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Never seen it. Newish? Yes. On Netflix? No. Whoa, that's a fucking big toughie. I don't know where you could watch it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking face <laughs> excuse me what the fuck it's aired though yeah in japan uh-huh it hasn't come t- nah okay so it's one of those shows that is being held by somebody and fucking i don't know held for ransom i don't know um fuck this is hard if you could uh, honestly could, you would never guess in a million years all right so it has two different names uh, it was called two different things but we were talking about it a little bit when it was about to come out it's either called hulaing babies which is the uh japanese name for it or it's called flying babies which is the english name for never it never would have fucking guessed uh, that. yeah so that that's a that's a show that's about some uh, girls flying that babies? hula hoop <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking with me. I, mean, I wish. You're telling me there's a man, there's an anime out there for hula hooping, but there's a one for breakdancing, fucking fucking uh, croquet, air hockey, darts, like way cooler things. Forest of Piano yeah. is uh, is like the uh, it's like the beat. No, it's like the C movie version of uh, Your Lion April. Yeah, you know what? It does feel like that. It feels like um, it feels like I was watching it and, and I didn't hate it. 
But it felt like one of those movies that, you know, that's like trying to be something else. And it mm-hmm. felt like it was trying to be Yearline in April. Maybe that's why I didn't hate it. Anyways, uh, that's it. been our episode. Uh, thanks so thanks much so for much. listening. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. I've been kind of dreading talking about this show because we haven't watched this. Uh, we were essentially like, well, what the fuck should we watch? There are a bunch of things on Netflix. And I'm like, I'm not talking about a sequel that uh-huh. we already know that we're not going to like. Or I mean, that we're going to say the same things that we already said. Speak for yourself. I'm ready. I'm really excited. You can for, talk about Baki, I'm Baki too. I'm excited I, for Baki, too. it up by yourself, man. I Just will Baki it up. It, on my other guess. podcast, Bocking it up with Juan. <laughs> Big Baki with one. Big Baki with one. And um, it's just me and Kyle talking about how much we're mad that you wouldn't watch Baki 2 with us. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyways, uh, Forest to Piano, it's kind of popped up on Netflix. Mm-hmm. We saw it here and there. Never wanted to watch it. Well, There's well, another show called Lost Song or something yeah. that's on Netflix. Same situation. And Forest to Piano is one of the first ones I thought of. It's like, <laughs> you know what, man? We haven't reviewed this. I don't yeah. know shit about it. Why don't we just go for it? Well, the thing is, um, <clears throat> there was a while where Netflix was just dropping a bunch of animes on them. Like, Suddenly. Like fucking back to back. And yeah. we were just reviewing a lot of them. And none of them really all of them kind of felt the same all of them kind of felt like we were just disappointed and we really weren't enjoying them um you know fucking to name a few ico fucking you know, be the sword guy be the beginning uh fucking the whale one right uh yeah children of the whales right like yeah so it's like we we talked about them because it was something netflix almost everybody has it right so something you it's readily available and it's just a poor representation of what you know good anime is right it's mm-hmm. like cool it's there it's great people like it if they like it, right? But honestly, they weren't that great. Um, so when this one came out, we were kind of burnt on them. And luckily, other stuff popped up where it's like, dude, we can just not even touch this. Yeah, so don't have it, to it, deal. it's been there for months. Like, and that's why when, when I, we said earlier, it just came out like three, four months ago. We don't know. I, I can't remember how long ago. It's been out for a while. Probably five years. So Who it's knows? been in the backlog, right? And we've just decided now, like, okay, there's, it's really slow right now because, you, you know, most animes are wrapping up. The new mm-hmm. ones haven't popped up. So it's kind of dry. So it's like, all right, let's fucking let's fucking pull the trigger. Let's do it. And I will tell you this, um, it was a lot better than I thought it would be. You know, going into it, we already knew what the art style looked like. Yeah. Didn't look like it was going to impress me. No. Didn't impress me. Yeah, no. Uh, overall, with the art, it, essentially it came down to the character design and everything. Fine. No issues with that. Mm-hmm. But the shading was, I think, the most egregious factor of this. Kind of flat, and, right? Uh, yeah. What they did is they essentially used like a gradient on everything. Yeah. I don't really know. Uh, so like a lot of hair gets darker near like yeah. their nape and like where it would normally be shaded. Yeah. Yeah. It, it felt like blocky mm-hmm. for no real purpose. Um, hair didn't look like hair. Like our homie no. has this, uh, like a, he had some spiky yeah, sp- mop head, right? Yeah. And it doesn't move like hair would. It doesn't it's look not like hair would. And it's, and it's not just him. There's just a bunch of hair to yeah. wacky hair out here. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. So for the most part, the character designs are pretty basic, except you yeah. got some people with some dumb looking hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Um, but one of the reasons that I think, I don't know for sure, because honestly, they don't have it for many characters, but they, they have moments where characters will go into 3D mm-hmm. while they're playing piano. And I'm saying characters. I think it might just be our main character. It's, uh, is it just it's Kai? Th- it's or three is characters. It, okay. It's Cause three. Because I, so. I was also sitting there being like... I wonder how many people it was because for the longest time it was Kai. Yeah, and we know we know why they did it. It saves uh-huh. money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it also looks really good when they're playing the piano. Oh, because yeah. it would be way harder to make that look good if it was regular anime animation. It, it almost feels like um like they could have motion captured it actually. Yeah, like, you know, they, yeah, it did because it looks very accurate. I mean, I've I've never I've never played the piano. Yeah, but when I'm looking at the hands, I'm like those look like they're actually playing notes. They they for sure were hitting all the right notes. Right? So, it was cool to watch that. And so see. it's a it was a cool decision for them to do that because um for the most part when they people do 3D or CG or whatever and they put it or whatever it's to cut corners to save costs. Yeah. Um, this one is like yeah I bet you they do save money on it but it also looks really good and it's pretty accurate. Way better it to me. It took me out of it for a second. For a second. The first it, time it happened. Yeah. It really jar- it was jarring for a bit. It doesn't look like it fits. Because if it was a higher quality of animation all throughout the show, it would have been less surprising. But considering the animation quality is very blocky, very like old school Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh type. Yeah, like very, very yeah. blocky. Um, that's a good That's a good it, call on that. Yeah, yeah. If like Pokemon went from what it is into 3d animation you'd be mm-hmm. like wait what? what what's yeah. happening so it took me out for a second and then you see oh no it looks fucking incredible on the keys yeah the rest of it whatever yeah don't don't paint it into their fucking shitty hair flowing no. look at their hands yeah. but they're fucking shitty here this is my point with the whole shading thing yeah it looked like 
so much more natural in 3D. In 3D yeah. The way like, it moved it in. No, no, no. But the, the movement. But, but the look of it was, yeah. I yeah, get what you're saying. So I feel like the shading was so that it matched the 3D animation oh, you think? better. Oh, okay. Good. I don't know for sure. But when I looked at it, I was like, oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That hair looks way better than the flat 2D animation. Not the movement or anything, but the... The the. The, the color visual, palette, the visual, yeah. Like the actual, like the way it physically looked. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Kai, my main character, yeah. uh, his, uh, his friend slash rival, uh-huh. and then the Chinese guy who also plays music. Oh, right, right, Those right, are the yeah. three characters that have this 3D motion. Which, of course, it, it's Wei Pong. Wei Pong, he, yeah. I like, yeah, I like Wei yeah. Pong. Wei Pong, and then uh, his name is like IG or something I think like that. Amamiya. No. Amamiya. Yeah. Amamiya, and then Kai. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or is it Kai Amamiya? No, uh, pretty sure. Amamiya is the name of the uh, is, is the name of the buddy. His rival. Yeah, his rival. And yeah. Kai, his name is Kai something different. Because yeah. I remember he, every time he says Amamiya, you're like, I want to say Mamma Mia. So that's how I remember. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, that's his good. buddy. Good job. Um, <laughs> and then his teacher's name is Sosuke. Yeah, Sosuke. Yeah. Um, IG Sosuke. So, so the way it looks, not the best. We, went, no. we came into it knowing it wasn't going to look that bad. I mean, it wasn't going to look that great. And then when he saw that 3D for the first time, it was He's jarring. Like, but then, oh wait, I get it. By the time, yeah. by the time, like the show got done with it, it's like I really it didn't bug me at all. Like there was bits even where like they would do the three D animation when they were doing intense piano playing, and they would cut to like a different angle, like from the front of like them, and uh-huh. it would go back to like the two D art. And, like I'm like oh cool, at least they know that you know they know why they're using yeah, it. They, yeah. So clearly they have some talented people on their team. Mm-hmm. They have some things that work out really well. The writing overall was just like. Meh. It was okay. It was fine. I totally understood the story. It never felt like I don't believe this. Yeah. Which was one of my problems with Your Lie in April mm-hmm. is just that like anime cliche type Wait, things that they yeah. had in there. Oh, yeah. Um, so it was over the top. It took me out of it because I really like the characters in Your mm-hmm. Lie in April. And it looks way better than yeah, this. Yeah, it looks so much fucking better. But all the anime cliches took me the fuck out. This show didn't have many anime cliches. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't really taken out of that. I wish that Your Lie in April removed those because I would fucking, I would eat mm-hmm. that shit up, dude. Yeah. I think the thing is this, this show is, this show that we watch, right, is way more grounded in reality. Like it is. It, it, but, it, <laughs> but it's all, but hold on. But okay. It's way more grounded in reality. Um, it's the most realistic show there's ever been. Um, and then Your Lie in April, uh, also in the real world, but everything is, just seems way too over the top and like way dramatized, right? Yeah. For, for that, like, that sense of oh, totally I can't believe it. that. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened, right? Yeah. Like it, it romanticizes. I wanted that a little bit more mm-hmm. with Forest in, of in Piano. This, absolutely. Because it, it was very <laughs> ready, ready for this. Ready for this shit. I'm ready. It was very one note. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking got him. Oh my gosh. It was just kind of it was just kind of the same thing, you know, I got, over and I got over. Shivers, dude. <laughs> you like that? Um <laughs> So, okay, so uh, I'm going to run down the basic story of it real yeah. quick because it's it's pretty simple, right? All uh, right. So we so we have a. We'll see how simple it is when you're done explaining. It's pretty simple. So we have a a boy who uh, I think he's in elementary school, right? Sure. And yeah. he gets picked on by other kids or whatever. Oh, no. And then a new boy gets transferred in, and he introduces himself, and this is Amamiya, and he goes, "Hey, I'm fucking Amamiya, or whatever. I'm gonna be a." piano player like i'm gonna be a pianist <laughs> get the fuck out of i'm here. sorry you in here with your one no ass joke that was amazing sorry you didn't lower it down to pianist <laughs> Come pianist. On. Jeez, louise um, holy heck so they become friends uh after the story of this cursed uh piano gets brought up right they talk whoa, about they, they talk about a piano it's okay a, curses that doesn't sound very grounded they talk in about that at the edge of the forest it's a piano that doesn't work um and they try to scare him into going like playing it and he's like and this but this part is very grounded in reality mm-hmm. he's like either gotta play the piano or show us your penis and then in there man you know what's super funny is though is that yeah that that's such a weird i mean that hasn't happened to me but it's such a weird thing to be like why is this always in like media like i i watched moonlight this week right okay yeah because yeah, yeah. uh, i because re- i got home <laughs> like oh okay we're jumping straight to like grade a Sorry, quality indie stuff. movies yeah I got, I got home hella late one night it was like three in the morning i had to wake up at like eight i was like you know what? i'm gonna watch something real quick on netflix just, just to help to, me sleep i'm just gonna quickly watch moonlight, moonlight one of the got best, added, you know? and i go you know what? i like moonlight i'm gonna watch it for a bit and then i kept saying i'm gonna watch it to this part because i like it at least into this part right uh-huh. turns out the point where i'd stopped liking it enough to go to sleep was 10 minutes before it's over yeah but there's also a bit <laughs> there's also a bit in that movie where like there's just kids hanging out and they're just showing each other their dicks and yeah I, and i was like oh okay i get it this is a this is just like a common thing people like fucking discovering their bodies and being curious as kids I'm like that makes sense that never happened to me 
So I'm pretty bummed out. I don't know what other people's dicks look like. You want to? Yeah, that's what you do. I do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hold on. This whole episode has been a ploy. I just want to see his dick. That's all I want. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways, um, Kai, and, Kai and this other kid that's getting, you know, that's uh, Amami is getting picked. I mean, tricked into doing this. This big guy bullies Kai and then he calls his mom a whore. I don't think his mom's a whore. I think she's just a, a what's she's it called? An a escort. Floozy. Yeah, she's like an escort or whatever. And uh, they fight and he cries and Amami me and him become friends and he takes him to the forest because Kai lives in the forest. He lives yeah. in a really shitty ghetto kind of place, right? Yeah. Well, he doesn't really live in the forest, but he, he lives does. Right outside the forest. Yeah. Um, but there is a piano there and um, Amami me wants to play it and he can't. Because it doesn't work, right? It's just a busted ass piano and in the middle like, of the forest. Because like, bitch, it works for me all the time. And he starts playing it. Plays it really well. And I'm like, wait, hang on. We, we got ghosts? <laughs> Are you magic? <laughs> I, I, don't know. I don't understand what's happening in uh, TV show. <laughs> I think I think what's implied is that the piano is so fucking old and busted is that Amamiya, no, that Kai plays it really hard, right? Yeah, he's and just he, fucking jamming. And he knows how to hit it the right way for it to make the right notes. Yeah. Because when you see him later playing an actual piano, he is uh-huh. playing it way he's too aggressively. He's going hard, And boy. then I think Amamiya's like, play it like you do the one in the forest. He's like, play it normally. He goes like, I am. This is how I fucking play it. That being said, Kai's a very gifted pianist. Just oh, yeah. Kind of, just incredible. He's very talented. Um, He, you know, hears something, knows how to play it. He knows the tempo of it, right? Yeah. But he's not been trained. This is just something he's totally just forest learned. trained. Just forest trained, yeah. Yeah, he trained by the moonlight and the flies. Um we also get introduced to Kai's um music teacher for the school. Yeah, Soske Boske. He was a former like pianist and uh Jesus I'm sorry, it sounds like penis. Yeah, it uh, sure does. Let me see, let me see your dick. <laughs> <laughs> um so and he was like really renowned or whatever, and he um Got into a car accident and ruined his hand, lost his fiance. <laughs> Essentially lost the will to could pursue his career, you know. Been there, man. Been there, done that. Um, and then I guess what ends up happening is Kai ends up uh, becoming his student. I mean, other things happen, but this is yeah. just what becomes a student. Uh, Amamiya and him compete in a local tournament to go to nationals, right? Ooh, um, nationals. I like the sound of that. Uh, Kai does not win because he is playing, uh, he's not playing the piece. He's playing so good. He's playing really good. But he's good. not playing the way it should be played. And this is, this is a bit really reminded me of, um, Your Line April. Your Line April, where like the main character in Your Line April is really good because he plays the notes the way it's supposed to be perfectly, right? Yeah. And, uh, he admires other characters because they can play music the way they feel. Yeah, you know, it's like, like a, holy shit, she's playing melodica because she has feelings. Yeah, I absolutely. could never do that because I don't feel anything. So in this one, Kai is a character who plays with feeling and, you know, he plays music great. It's beautiful, but it's Fucking not, jam. it's not for like tournaments or whatever. And then his, uh, Amamiya or whatever is, is essentially the main character from your neighbors. Like he can play everything perfectly in notes and he has, can see that Kai is a more compelled pianist or whatever. And he's like going to be a, a huge challenge, a genius, but he just doesn't, do the things to get the points right you know what could have happened hmm. at this point hmm. he could have been like holy shit this is stupid they're hella dumb discovers jazz and becomes he the done best jazz. jazz pianist of all time yeah but instead they were like he's just gonna be really good at playing music people have already played yeah <laughs> he could have <laughs> like, yeah. oh okay they could have just done fucking kids on the slope instead yeah they could have kids on the slope it and i would have ate that shit ate up. that shit up but honestly, they they just had piano going on in the show, and they, it was that's just fine. That's what it is. Yeah. But so eh. um, Kai loses. Uh, Amamiya is going to nationals. He wins. He moves back to Tokyo. Also, they they had a friend. Well, not really. A friend. Kai a, had they, a friend. They met a girl. On the, um, yeah, yeah. At the at the invitation at the the small tournament, or whatever. And I think what we learn here with Kai is that he the his characterization is just I am just. Like of like a I'm I'm a good guy and I make other people better, right? Yeah. Like he he's not like he's not in it to win, he's not in it for anything. He's just he he's wants just to play the what piano, right? And he's like sometimes what he says comes off as like abrasive and rude, but he's just speaking his truth essentially, you know. And so it's like, oh, okay, cool. So the his gist of the entire show is just like he just makes other people better. Yeah. And he he is very talented and he has to learn how to like, you know, actually play the fucking piano. Um and there's a few episodes where we see him like have some sort of adversity, you know, like he's like, Oh, I'm freaking out or whatever. Quickly shakes it off. Cause he's just, again, really good. Right. 
uh they grow up they get older they they fucking move on and they like but what happens in between this is his mom's like his mom's immediately just like look man you're not supposed to be here Mm -hmm. get the fuck out (laughs) which was like a very um, uh jarring hang on what well she and essentially she just meant you living here is not going to help you thrive. You yeah. need to get somewhere better. And I can't be with you mm-hmm. because I don't know what I would do outside of here. I yeah. don't have that potential. And I think Kai does a thing where like the, a lot of kids do. There's like, there's like, yeah, you, they kind of think they know more than they actually do. Yeah. And he goes like, I would never leave you. I can't leave you. We have to be together. You know, I can, everything, I, everything that I need to succeed is right here when that's not true. Right. Absolutely. not. He, he needs, if he wants to play the piano, has a huge career and be, you know, big, he needs to go out into the world, which yeah. he eventually does. Uh, also, the piano burns down in the forest. We also find out <sighs> that the piano was owned by his teacher or whatever. And There's lots of little elements to it. Whatever. The piano wasn't cursed. It was, just, it was just a shitty piano. Um, anyways, they grow up. They go, they both start going to, to prestigious schools. And then I think they meet up in a tournament later in Europe for what's his name Chopin or whatever yeah okay so a little bit before this um a viral video went out of oh, yeah. Kai he's playing as a clown mm-hmm. on the streets he's playing the piano and it sounds fucking incredible so it's been making its rounds on the internet and our boy Alamia saw this and he's like holy shit I've been obsessed with Hi- uh, Kai for like five years I want to go back to Japan so that I can see my roots and whatnot he's also been and in the slump he hasn't played the mm-hmm. piano in like several days or eight 12 days something like that it, which is a huge slump for him yeah so anyways he he goes back to japan he wants to get re-inspired and like reconnect with his roots and remember why he started doing this whole thing but mostly and entirely he's just trying to find kai so that he could reconnect yeah this is the part of the show that i was like oh my god is this gonna be really really fucking good right now mm-hmm. and i decided to be like nah it's not <laughs> it's, it's pretty much just like they find each other and well they talk for a bit and uh Amamiya gets better. You know what was gonna happen in my head? My yeah, head he- canon. Let's hear let's hear what you what All you right. would have wanted to happen. Amamiya finds Kai. Uh he finds Kai, but he didn't expect to find Kai in this way. Kai's dressed up like a woman, playing oh, at a bar. Nice. He's he's living a very different life. He's trying to keep a low profile, uh, so people don't know how wild he is, so he could do these competition type things or whatever. And go to a prestigious school, yeah. Yeah, so he could do all of that. Well he's he's being wild. Anyways, so he's working this bar, getting paid normally, and everything's good. And then he calls over Amamiya and he's like, Hey, come back with me. And he's like pretending to be a girl still. And Amamiya's like, Yo, man, this is fucking weird. Like, I don't know who you are, you don't know who I am. He's like, bitch. I'm Kai. And he's like, holy shit, dude, I've been obsessed with you. And they really have like this heart to heart for a moment. And I was like, okay, they're both obsessed with each other. Are they about to fall in love? Oh, Bro, are they thought, about to get really gay? And I'm going to be really into it. You thought they were gay boys? I thought it was going to be so Bro, fucking good. They are not gay boys. They are just fucking they're rivals they're fucking bros dog yeah and this is the part that pissed me off more than anything is that after all of this shit goes on and uh they they do some talking at tournaments or whatever then amamiya's like Ugh, kai really pisses me off because he's the he's, best he's so happy and smiley and doesn't even care he doesn't even he doesn't even get mad <laughs> i'm like bro that's your problem with him like are you kidding me you were gonna fuck this dude and now you're like he makes me a little bit mad because he's so happy uh i'm gonna be also does this thing where like he's very adamant that if he can't beat kai then he no can, can. then he could never be a pianist like it's, it's yeah. just it's just not gonna happen because he, he'll just give up even though they're totally different pianists yeah and it's like who the fuck cares, right? Like, if he's... There can be more than two people who play the yeah. piano in the world and get You're paid. You're the best at following the rules. He's the best at not. They go, two different fucking worlds, yeah. man. Anyways, um, you know, I get time jump. They get older. Five years. Um, They're already in the future they, um, when this whole stuff happens. We so, also yeah. see a bit where, like, the girl that he met in the earlier competition comes back and sees her. Yeah. She's also been going through some shit. Also obsessing over Kai. Wants yeah. to hear him play again. Been there, man. Hears him play. Been there, man. Happy, whatever, you know. Um, Kai goes to this big tourney for, um, I think it's a Chopin tournament in like yeah. someplace in Europe. And this is like people from all around the world are here to compete. And, um, we get introduced to other characters, uh, specifically, what's we his name? A, uh, we meet Wei Pong. Wei Pong, which uh, is, we meet some Polish guy. Yeah. We so, meet who is like, bunch. so the Wei Pong's characterization is like, he plays music so intensely and so aggressively that like people can feel the anger and the anguish in his life. Cause he's been, he's gone through a lot of shit and he also plays the music very similar to how Kai's 
teacher played it. But yeah. Wei Pong has no clue what they're talking about because uh, he's just like, I don't know who that is. I ob- he's like, are you saying I'm copying him? And then after people hear it, they people who know this other guy's sound and then yeah. hear Wei Pong sounds like, no, like he goes, that's for sure that dude's sound. But fucking Wei Pong is like made it his own and mastered it. And it is for sure his fucking sound now, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, I really like that character. He, he's kind of an asshole. I liked him too. But he, I mean, he played music really cool. I, every When he was doing his stuff. See, he's and, a good rival. Yeah. When they were having flashbacks and stuff of him, like, you know, like what he went through. I'm like, oh man, I fucking feel for this guy, you know? Um, and I think the issue with this show is that I thought it was going to do the thing where, you know, two guys are friends. One's a little bit better than the other one. And then the guy becomes jealous and they're rivals. And it's just like this fucking bitter hatred, you know, like, oh, I fucking hate you. And they go separate ways and they fight and fight and fight. And eventually they become boys again. It was like, oh, man, you're really good. Let's be rivals. But we're still friends. We're still boys. Right. Yeah. And it's like they're. And, and then they, one of them was like, fuck, I wish we weren't friends. And the other one's like, too bad, bro. Too bad we're, we're friends. friends. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like a homie, but yeah. and I'm then, a homie. So Kai's just so like so not about having a rival that it, yeah. it fucks up with all be and it kind of just fucks with that formula of like this very basic like fucking main character has his rival kind of thing which is cool and i like that i did the too. part that I'm i didn't, didn't like that, yeah. was that he was mad about him i was just like nobody gets fucking mad that they don't have a rival what I, the fuck i think it's just that that trope in anime where just like, really you, you have to have a rival to be better yourself like but like you can it also just so fake you can also have boys that fucking push yourself also by the way fucking yeah. way pong's over here fucking dying to have a rival yeah he's, he's like, been a boy for years there's also this other he's Pol- got no other boys to be boys with. there's also this other polish guy who's also really good and yeah. older or whatever and like he's a nice guy he could also be your fucking rival if you wanted to yeah and he there's, just hangs out in parks and he's like bro you playing the sun right now because like, i'm into it yeah yeah this is like they introduce a lot of characters um who have kind of been in like the the intro and the outro for a bit you know and it's like it's fine but but the way the, the way the show ends is the problem, right? Oh my god, I was so I felt like I missed something leading I, up to the end, so I, I felt, rewatched the last episode. I felt like almost like um, maybe they'll do a sequel, like a part two, like a second season. I felt that way. I really, I really don't think like if they did, it, it like would benefit it because Lost it, it's, Song is the sequel, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's because it's, so the way it ends is like this whole time we, we're seeing you know Amamiya, Wei Pong, the other characters yeah. play their parts in the sh- in the show pun. I think it's a preliminaries because they already got through the fucking first round, right? So, like, they're getting cut down from 80 to 30, I think, or something yeah. like that, um, to move on. And and at this point, also, Kai met some other guy who's a total dweeb and is mm-hmm. not important this at other all. Japanese he's around dude, yeah. for some reason. He's just a lackey, yeah. Yeah. So, Kai is, like, one of the last people to go because of his last name, because alphabetical, right? And so, he goes up, and this entire last episode is, um, for all of them, they play for 45 minutes. That's how long their time is. That, yeah. In so real it's time, like, right? It's cut out parts of yeah. it for their episodes or whatever. Yeah. So, so um, in, in, in the entire show, we've seen them all play their, their 45 minute piece and they play multiple songs and we see little clippets of it. Uh, this last episode is Kai doing his entire performance. Yeah. It's also, it is cut down to be smaller, it is. Um, but it's still really long. Mm-hmm. And for every song, like there's like a different flashback to like different people in his life who he's gone through stuff. Uh-huh. And there's also like glimpses of moments that, of him growing up that we didn't get to see. Yeah, I'm like, wait a second. Did I miss on, that? Yeah, hold no. up. It's, yeah. it's just, it's just kind of there to show like, oh yeah, he, you know, his teacher did teach him stuff and took him to the ocean and they became mm-hmm. friends like this, you know? And they're like, holy shit, wait, he was tied to a tree? Yeah. Oh, he had the option of getting his fingers chopped off or being tied to it. What the fuck? And then there's like, he's like, he's being friends with that little girl who also lives at, in that like whorehouse or whatever yeah. and like he's playing a fake piano like so we see his relationship with other people that we don't get to see because there's this huge time jump yeah um and and then the show you know then like that like his performance ends and every fucking buddy stands up and goes oh my god like they lose your shit throughout the entire thing we're seeing also the reactions of different characters being like yeah they're like holy shit the wind away. is yeah. like actually here oh my god I, i've never felt emotions before that middle part of raindrop Ooh. really oof you know just being blown away and so the end is like them clapping because he did an amazing job. Kai's being like super, like he's like shocked. He's like, "Oh wow, I fucking did it right!" And then fucking intro, outro song starts going, credits roll, and that's it. And that's the end of the show. Yeah, I'm just and sitting then, there like, hang on. I go, I'm still, I'm sitting there being like, so did he go to the finals? Did he fucking win? But then I realized that's really not the fucking point of the show. Like, no, but you know, it should be the point of the show. Like if you're gonna do like you're gonna set up this fucking tournament. Might as well have a fucking winner, even if he loses or whatever, or even decides not to perform and just kind of do his own thing just because he doesn't need to do what other people want him to do. It'd be fine. But it wasn't. It was just very, like, uh, very fucking 
I don't know, very basic, right? It was very mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. There was no real like issues. Things were resolved pretty quickly. Characters stayed pretty similar throughout the show. Like Kai was like a good guy in the beginning. Very little impact. Yeah. Yeah. But the whole time, the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, I'm not like hating any of it. I'm not like loving any of it. It's very like middle of the road being like, yeah, I can watch this. Yeah, I texted you when I started watching. I'm like, how do you feel about this show? Like, I, I'm only on the first episode, but I feel like it's really okay. Yeah, it's pretty, I'm like, yeah, okay is exactly how it is. Like, it's okay. I can watch it and it's like, it's not going to blow you away, but it's also not going to make you want to gouge your eyes out like fucking Sword Guy or Ico. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so the, the, essentially different paths that you could take if you start watching the show, if you choose to. If you're <laughs> like, you know what? This doesn't have enough drama for me. Boom. You're lying, April. If you're like, well, why the fuck is he still playing this kind of music? Just boom. Go over to Kids on a Slope. Yeah, you got yeah. so many options out there, boys. Absolutely. You're like, man, I wish this was funny. No to make contabile, motherfucker. Just yeah. go there. This is just a, this is just a, again, a C movie or like a watered down version or the light version of any other fucking thing out there that's better of it. Yeah. Um, the one thing. And this is one thing that I felt like uh, kind of upset me about the entire show. Like the only the only one thing that I'm like, oh, this this kind of pisses me off about it. Because surprisingly, not a lot of things upset me because there wasn't no. anything to be upset about. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, we I was were... just mad they weren't gay. <laughs> um, we, I'm just glad we didn't get to see his dick. Um, <laughs> what, what upset me was uh, the music, the piano that they played was great. Like, I mean, like I was like, oh, that, I'm, not, I'm sitting there being like, wow. This mm-hmm. piano music is nice. Yeah. I like, you know, like, yep. I don't know much about classical music, right? Like, did you really feel the emotions that they talked about? That's the issue. Uh-huh. The issue is that I you, feel they're playing the music, right? And they're talking about like how like it's affecting them and how they feel. And it's like, oh, it's like, this is so warm or like, or this is so cold or whatever. But honestly, it just sounds like they're playing the piano, right? And this people is, talking about how it's making them feel. They kind of had to. Yeah. Um, and the reason for that is. They, d- I'm gonna piss off this musician when they listen to the episode. <laughs> Fucking sorry, Tom uh, Nasser. Here we go. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, they didn't have a great pianist for this. They had a really, really good one. Yeah, but nobody that was phenomenal. Yeah, and yeah. I think that was the biggest difference is they couldn't convey that because they didn't have somebody with enough power could behind actually them do to it, do yeah. that. Yeah, well, and it, it's different whenever it's like a, in an. I'm gonna call back to uh, Liz and the Bluebird really quick. They have. The whole point of the movie is essentially the the development of these two characters and figuring out who they are and how they fit into this song because they're both playing the solo. Um, essentially, it's like a little duet between two different instruments. And you get to see their growth and how it kind of sounds throughout. And it was so good being able to see like, oh, my God, this actually sound, this is fucking incredible. Suddenly mm-hmm. you hear that the flute, which was first just like kind of playing the part really turn into oh my god no this is like a full-on character like you feel everything in the music being played it was really interesting getting to that point of this is this is how the music's supposed to sound this is this is incredible this Mm -hmm. is the peak of it but of course it was supposed to be that way and they planned that way so they made everything else sound shitty kind of getting to that point yeah they sounded incredible because they did have a great musician behind those instruments uh but then for this with the piano it could have been the same person playing it for each thing i was like i'm just gonna play it a little bit more dry yeah and i'm gonna play it the best that i can now that's essentially the difference between it i think yeah i think the issue also is like um you know, I don't know classical music, right? So I was like, at first, I was like, maybe I just don't get it. You know, maybe I'm like just dumb or whatever. Nah. And then I realized, no, that can't be it. You know, because because nope. I don't understand jazz. But when I watch Kids on a Slope, I was like, oh fuck, that bit right there <laughs> fucking gets me, right? You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it, it's just like music does that to people, right? Well, um, it cracked me up too because we haven't seen like a lot of the practicing for this. But in the last song, they're like. Oh my god, the arm stamina! Like that's got to be so tiring. <gasps> he didn't wait at all before going into the next. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, well, like I it's get a, it, but you really do have to tell me and not show me. It for felt this. it felt very uh, Yu Gi Oh esque, you know, very like, <laughs> oh shit, he's about to activate his trap card, you know, and he like can't do the, the effect of this card, you know, it, yeah, because because uh, the music just didn't do it. So when they're doing all this dialogue, I was like, I mean, obviously. The dialogue was going to be there beforehand, right? They didn't. Yeah. They didn't do the music and go, "Oh fuck, this is shit." We got to fucking make people think it's good, you know? It's no. just like that's just how that's the dialogue, right? That's that's what they're going to say anyways, because that's yeah. how it makes them feel. That's the it's a feeling it's invoking to them. It was just those really feelings interesting. are not invoked on me, right? I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. I still think the piano sounds good. I don't understand the whole. Oh, yeah. Like one of my favorite ones was uh, fucking uh, what's the Chinese guy's name again? Wei, Wei Pong. Wei Pong. Like he uh, 
his bit, like he was on fire at one point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so was Kai. Yeah, but like his bit, like, I was watching. I was like, oh, whoa! It was like, it's like that looks really cool, right? Yeah, music yeah. still sounds the same. You oh, know? Yeah, like, totally I was like, oh. the same. Um, and it wasn't just like the last episode. It, the last episode was it was the biggest issue because it was throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Because there's other parts and other parts of the, there's other episodes in the show where just like people do that and they're like, oh my God, it's so mesmerizing. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, I can feel his warmth. And you go, (laughs) honestly, the one part where I was like, I get this is where they ended. uh, It's the last episode and the episode's name is FFF Mm -hmm. and it's all lowercase all together. And it was the, Fortissimo or mm-hmm. something. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, that is. Um, it means like really hard, right? Like yeah, extra hard. Well, it's not just fortissimo. It's like fortissimo. Yeah, like super, it's, super yeah, hard. Yeah, extra hard. So uh, he's essentially trying to convey like the anger and anguish and like all these different emotions in one note that's repeated three times at the very end. And the way that he does that, he's able to play it and then he smashes it with his like fist. He punches it. It's like, yeah. oh, again, really cool. The very fucking end, though. You're like, yeah, nice way to end the show that way, right? Uh huh. The other song that I really liked, okay, that that's the only gripe I had, right? I mean, sure, and I feel yeah. like that's that's fair, right? That's not like I'm not being like an asshole, but like, no. you know, the music didn't fucking affect me the way other music shows have. Yeah. Um, the other song I really liked was when Kai's student came and sang a stupid song about how kids, <laughs> yeah. people were picking on him, and I thought that was super fucking funny. I was like, he was ah. being a dork and bullying, kind of, but not really. And then he quickly became friends with Mama Mia. I was like, yeah, yeah. he's my fucking student. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I really got a kick out of that bit because <laughs> at yeah. first, like, fuck this little kid. I was like, you know what? I fucked with this little kid. <laughs> this <laughs> thing's cool. totally changed. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, yeah. all in all, the show wasn't. It, it was worse. okay. It wasn't the best. It was okay. It was okay. If you want to watch it, go for it. There are, again, it. there are different shows you can watch that are better than the show. You can watch Your Line April. You can watch fucking Kids on Soap. You can watch None of My Contabili. None of My Contabili. That's the one with the funny one, right? And the girl yeah. that, yeah. That yeah, one's the girl. Really, yeah. That, one's, that one's really good. Yeah. Also, it's kind of similar animation style. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's old as fuck, right? <laughs> yeah, it's old as fuck. And they have the 3D animation. But it's still it, better. It's <laughs> not as good 3D animation, but I mean, they have it for multiple entrants. So, like, <laughs> you're going to do <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to go for it, we're not going to stop you. Um, you can just turn it on and listen to them play the music and hear people talk Whoa. about how great it is. Whoa. Did you watch it in English? Yes. Yeah. I watched half of it in English. Yeah. I was watching it in Japanese and realized I don't care. Fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in English so I could do other shit while I'm doing it. Cause it, it was so unsubstantial yeah it was so okay that you're like i don't care if i listen to a dub whatever yeah uh, and i put up subtitles while i was <laughs> yeah. watching it so that i Me could too. like make sure <laughs> did you yeah because <laughs> i was just like fuck that um it was, it was so like it was fine but man it was i, yeah. I will say i i don't know what it was maybe it's because the episode was branding i did like the outro <laughs> whenever the outro showed up i was like oh nice it's over <laughs> Another yeah one to come i didn't through. care about the intro or outro it. intro i feel like lasted a long time and nothing happened it oh, was yeah. just panning of characters yeah and... that were that were like adults or whatever and they were like who is this guy when do we see this guy cool yeah. we meet him for two episodes get the fuck out of here cool it was yeah it was anyway weird. that's what piano of the forest forest, that's piano. forest of piano forest of piano better than we thought it'd be yeah. yeah check it out if you want if you want if you want we're not gonna fucking hold definitely not gonna tell you to yeah um next week we're talking about this color show right what's it called yeah uh i'm gonna say it's mitsuboshi colors yeah i'm gonna look up the name really quick because i'm a big dumb and i forget everything all the time so uh you bear also, bear fucking with me boys yeah, you can also just look at the text i'm not gonna look at the text i hate texts i'm gonna go on high dive high dive where children become men all men it's a uh, fuck i think it's actually not on <laughs> here i'll show you i'm gonna i'm just gonna die another show is on high dive but we'll get to that at another time this is the name of the show right here <sighs> Fucking, oh my god it's so far jesus louise this is all staying in by the way uh mitsuboshi colors nailed it first yes. try so this is a show that trip's been wanting to watch for a while i think right yes so we're gonna check it out yes cool um anyways uh, this is like a, this is fucking weird. You usually don't know what we're doing next week. So yes, <laughs> I got you. Hey, shout outs. Uh, the, the fucking Pokemon thing ended. Yeah. Fucking giveaway. That's what it's called. What was his name? Uh, congratulations to Tangerine Dreams, who also suggested the episode of Promised Neverland that we did a little bit while back. Anyways, thought it was really, uh, cool that it was somebody who we kind of knew again. Definitely don't know, but definitely do know. So congratulations to Tangerine Dreams! Yeah, it's really not that hard, man. Just fucking... Just do it. Do the thing, you win a thing. That's all, that's all we're saying. Do it. Okay, so, um, that's what we're doing next week. We're doing that fucking color show. We're doing colors. Okay, so if you like our theme song, 
check out Tom Nasser on SoundCloud and YouTube. If you like our logo, check out Aaron from TurvyTops.com. Trip, where can we find us? People can find us on Facebook. Look up the answer on the podcast. Uh, you can find us on Instagram. Look up the answer on the podcast. And you can find us on Twitter. Look up instant at instant rom pod podcast benefit. And you could go ahead and shoot us an email and start on podcast gmail.com. Uh, we, I didn't, I didn't talk about this. It's been a couple of weeks now. I just didn't know how to process it. We got an email from a uh, triple X radio oh, God. titled yeah. Satan, uh, said yo instant ramen and sent us a link to their SoundCloud. Who boy, it was an experience. If you want to send us an experience, you should definitely email us because I'll check that shit out. And, it scared me. It was I, weird. I listened to it. My friends were in town. Didn't know they were in town. I was excited. I was going to go meet up with them. And then I saw this email and I'm sitting in the parking lot and I check it out. I'm like, oh my God. And they're like, hey, what's up? I'm like, I, I don't know. Send me an experience like that. I want something that makes me feel weird. Yeah. Send trip whatever will make him feel weird. Um, <laughs> this is bye from Juan. I'll see you around from Chris. Hey, trip, don't forget. Just add hot water.